Why, hello there. I feel like this is probably a little bit loud. Oh, it's on max, that's why. That's a bit quiet. Is that good? That's probably alright, right? Welcome, welcome. Uh, actually, let me see if the prep screen is working before we start. Oh my god, it just, it is. It's just working. That's wild. Uh, although it is slightly too big. Let's just do that. There we go. Um, so I've had a think, right? <clears throat> so obviously the last time, we uh, made it... How the fuck do you spell surskit? Oh, not like any of this. Surskit? I actually don't know. I need to find out. I'm just gonna put that in. It's you. No, no, that would, yeah, that's why. So, I've um, I've had a think, right? So we made it to Brawly last time, and I know what I did wrong. Uh, obviously, there were a couple of mistakes during the gym gym trainers. We lost execute, execute rather, uh, and Ponyta, which both would have been helpful. Uh, Ponita, Flame Body is obviously, like, it's a little bit random, but it does proc quite often, um, which would have been helpful, and Bounce as well is obviously a very good move in that gym. Uh, and Execute, I mean, pretty self-explanatory, Psychic type against a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, Fighting type trainers. I don't know if I, I can't remember exactly what my team was, but, you know, maybe I could have baited, uh, Incinerate from the Combuscan, you know. We could have done some stuff with Execute, 100%. Probably more than Ponita, if we're honest. Um, but the main mistake I made uh, was forgetting that I had a rare candy. And I should have used it on Surskit to evolve it. So that was the primary mistake we made. This time, uh, we're going to get that rare candy. And we're not going to forget that if we have a Surskit. And I'm also going to make a point of looking through my entire team. Uh, I'm also noticing, by the way, Surskit. If you scale it, can then use Giga Drain as well, uh, which is probably pretty good. I haven't had too much of a look at this, but what I'm going to do is once we get to Brawly, or to the Gym Trainers actually, I'm going to have a look at everything I have in the box and see if there's something we can do with Rare candy in one of them. Because that's something I've just completely forgot about. Like, we, we went and got the Rare Candy, and then I just forgot about it by, by the time we actually got to Brawly. So... We will definitely figure that out once we get there. Um, and I, I don't know, I feel pretty confident about getting two Brawly every time now. Um, so let's just play some Pokemon, you know? Right, I don't know if it'll be much of an issue. I feel like it probably shouldn't be, but the, ma we are having friends over this weekend. Um, you know, normally that means I couldn't stream, but they're actually playing their D&D campaign because they're all in one campaign uh, that I'm not in. I'm in a different campaign, but not in that one. So they're playing that one um, in like the next room over. Hopefully it shouldn't get too... Uh, okay, it will probably get very loud, but I don't know if the microphone will pick it up. So hopefully it'll be fine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I probably won't hear it because of the headphones, but I don't know if you guys might. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, let's start. I kind of want to try Primplup. And I don't know. It feels to me like it's like the worst one. In the early game, at least. it's, it's it, it probably is the worst one in the early game. Um, and if I want to... I don't know, if I want to get past Brawly and then Roxanne, maybe Turtwig is just the play. But, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. We've only tried it once, and we got a really bad one. It had, like, no special attack IVs. Uh, so we couldn't do anything. Uh, 
Um, I'm sticking with Fire Emblem characters. Can't be asked. That's not how you spell Marth. <laughs> Marth. Right, he's blue. He's the first guy. It makes perfect sense that this is Marth, right? Alright, let's check him. Clear body. Um, what can it actually get? That is the hidden ability. You can get torrent, defiant. I. Oh, defiant is the one where if it lowers your move, your. Uh... Uh, stats it raises it instead which actually I, I think that's pretty good isn't it um <clears throat> yeah and then clear body which is the hidden ability All right it's a plus attack minus speed IV is that good is that a physical attacker pound pluck bubble beam aqua jet to whirlpool, waterfall is physical, drill pack. It's a mix, it's a mix. Alright. Um It does have the plus attack nature though, so maybe that makes up for the for the low IVs on it. It does have 31 special attack, 31 special defense, and 31 speed. So I actually think this is it's probably pretty good, right? Obviously we would have liked the attack to be higher than five. But I think, you know, it seems very much like you're guaranteed to have three stats that are maxed out. And I think special attack, special defense, and speed are probably the three I would have gone for. Maybe HP instead of special defense or something. I don't know. Seems pretty fucking good to me. This once again seems a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Maybe that's just that song, though. Oh, let's uh, remember to... Um Okay, I'm gonna register that, and we're gonna endless candy our guy. Pass activated. Let's pick up the potion, why not? I've forgotten to do that last few times. And you know that's obviously why things have gone bad for us. Alright, it's got Trico. Um is Sceptile Dragon type in this one? Is that Emerald Kaiser where it's Dragon type? I don't know if he is in this one. I could just find out. Oh, it doesn't say here. Where does it say? Uh, Canic changes, move changes. I'll never know. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, right. Running shoes acquired. Now. So I have been under the impression that Surf gets pretty bad. But I think with the knowledge that you can candy it into Masquerade, it is probably the best thing to get here. Or at least up there, right? It's definitely good. I don't know how it holds up in the late game. But it also got a really good typing for double battles, like you can bait in shit. So, okay, we got it. <clears throat> We're happy with that. Of course, I do have a water type here, so... Um, uh, Say, 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 is that, say, say, is that, what the fuck is her name? Um, fire emblem, say, say, uh, say, 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 ah, it is, whoops. Like that. Right. I 
think she's like, is she like Marv's sister or something? I don't know, I didn't play the first one. Um, Alright, let's just fucking catch our guys, I guess. Oh. Let's remember to fast speed on the text. Right, I want Sislipede. I want Sislipede. Give me Sislipede. Sisly, Sisly, Sisly. We didn't get Ponyta! It's literally the first time. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Growlithe. Is Growlithe any good? No idea. Are there enough lords for us to only do, like, <laughs> royalty? <laughs> it might be, you know. Uh, yeah, we have two water types. We definitely don't want another water type from here. We want Gossy Flare. Bounce Sweet. Okay. Uh, is that any good? I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Green. A flowery guy. Um, let's do some Fire Emblem Hero shit. Peony. Oh, green. I could have gone Byleth. That's fine. Byleth can be another grass type. Oh, I didn't do the encounter here, did I? Which I want to do before I do the other one. In case we get a Starly here. I'd rather get it here. Okay. This, from what little I know, um, you know, I've watched some tier lists and stuff recently. This is like one of the worst things in the game. So that'll be fun. I don't know. I feel like Stab Headbutt seems at least okay in the early game, right? Can't be that bad. Um, normal type dog. Oh, it's a dog. Hang on, like a right hand man, slave guy. Um, wasn't that wasn't there someone in like Fire Emblem Seven who was like or Eight who was referred to as like the dog of something? I don't know. Let's go with... What's the guy from Engage called? The the Sage. Uh, the, the bad guy. Sage. Who likes pain. Um, Sephia, Marnie, Amalvia, and Gris. That's his name. This could be Gris. Gris. Right, what we got here? Pidgey! I was not in love with the Pidgey order I had last time, but it had awful IVs to be fair to it. So maybe this one's better. Bird? Uh, I'm thinking uh, Pegasus Knight of some kind? A male bird? Let's go... Uh, I, I did Heath last time, didn't I? Let's do Walter. Walter. Is that how you spell? I think this. I think it's just spelled straightforward like that, right? It's the the bad guy from FE8. Right. We have the initial squad. Let's have a look. Swift swim. Let's let's do this properly. Let's see, right? What could it get? Surskit can only get Swift Swim, and it turns into Intimidate upon evolution. Oh, no, it could get Hidden Ability, which is Rain Dish, which I don't know what does. Uh. Oh, okay, it's like, uh, isn't that the same as, uh, what's it called? Not Regenerate, but the... Um, the one that like just heals you during rain, isn't it? Isn't that also called another thing? Whatever. Basically, it heals you in rain. It's the special ability. All right. That's pretty bad. Good defense. Bad special defense. Good attack. Actually, this isn't that bad. I think Masquerade feels like a primarily physical attacker to me. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm super wrong. It's got Air Slash, which is obviously a physical attack, so it's going to do a lot with that, but whatever. Alright. 
What else we got? Intimidate Growlithe. All right. Um, obviously, this is basic Growlithe, not Hisuian Growlithe. Uh, oh, hidden about this Flash Fire. Isn't Flash Fire the one that uh, makes it so that if you get hit by Fire type, maybe he heals instead? Yes. No, not quite. But it does boost your fire type moves after being hit by flash fire. After being hit by a fire type move. Huh. I don't know, that's one of those where like I'm almost wondering if it's... Uh, down the line, could be worth like scaling for that. Right, to get that ability. Uh, although, of course, Intimidate is also like a fucking S tier ability. But there could be new scenarios where I could see Flashfire being better. But overall, Intimidate is probably pretty damn fucking good. Right. Plus special attack, minus special defense IV uh, ability, nature rather, and terrible IVs. Okay. Awful IVs. Really bad. Sweet Veil. Neutral nature, good special attack, good special defense, average to low everything else. Okay, that, that's probably okay. Gris. Okay, that's fine. All right, average attack, special defense, speed, and defense, with a minus defense nature, which is probably pretty bad. Good special attack, which is uh, terrible, right? Because I'm uh, pretty sure it like, basically doesn't learn a single special attack move. Um, yeah, there's not a single special attack move in this entire list of moves that it learns. So that is useless to us. So that is unfortunate. But whatever. Right. Walter, the Pidgey. Keen Eye, of course. This is somehow worse than the other one. This is completely useless. Isn't it? Like, this is good because it has ground immunity. That's it. <laughs> I, it should still be able to two-shot the, uh, the Yanma, I think. No, because it only has Gust, doesn't it? It might not even be able to do that. Hopefully Royal learns a fire diaper. Covert, Outer Sludge, Flame Wheel. Oh, thank fuck for that. It also had Ember, uh, but I don't know if that would be enough. Flame Wheel should do it though. Okay. Do we need nice rapid spin, raise the leaf. Oh, and it evolves right away, right. Okay, that's probably okay. I feel like we can work with that. Baby Delice. Uh, Otter Sleuth, and a Wilder. Heal up. Uh, right, so there's not too much thinking that is required for these guys, of course. Uh, I do want to see what moves we got, though, on everyone, just, you know, to double check. So we have Bite here. For a little bit of coverage, and obviously flame and covered as well. This is a really good early learn set. I'm happy with that. Obviously, we have the bubble, uh, the bubble beam, and the quick attack on this guy, so that's going to be useful. Uh, pluck. Very good early game ability or early game move. Um, which gives me a little bit of coverage against grass types. Peony, like this is pretty bad. Uh, but the Razor Leaf, like Rapid Spin is a pretty decent move, but in the early game, like there's no one that has spikes or anything like that, so it doesn't really do anything. 
other than like the pure damage, which isn't very high. Uh, this didn't even learn headbutt, actually. At 12, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm assuming it probably gets it at before 17, right? Surely. No. It learns covet at 14, and then take down at 18. So we have to get to the fucking Aquas before it learns like a decent normal type move. When does it evolve? It evolves at 16, to be fair to it. Um, learns take down at 19, so there's no point in delaying for that. We could delay it to Candy at 22, make it learn submission there, but that's not really useful. Um, oh, I forgot that it has a third evolution as well, Stafflin. Which does get, like, Intimidate. And uh, all the Elemental Fang abilities, if you, if you uh, scale it. Then it learns Play Rough, Crunch, Double Age, Facade, and Close Combat up to 55. It's not great, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, and of course Pidgey, which... Uh, yeah, it learns Air Cutter at 13, so that's not very good. I can't believe I got a second, like, dog shit Pidgey in a row. Right. No need to think too much about these guys. I'm not even gonna heal up. Can't be asked. Sturdy Orenberry, uh, Sislipede, uh, we bite. Oh, it doesn't do a lot, okay. Does enough, but. Yeah, we got the berries. Oh, I meant to undo the speed up and then equip some berries before we went into this fight, but I mean, it should be fine. Psyduck into Peony in, in on the bubble beam. Uh, and then we just go Piplup on the Litleo. I got burned. That doesn't matter. Bubble. I didn't realize that was one shot. Um, sorry, I, I kind of should have just plucked first, actually, because I didn't realize it was one shot. But whatever. All right. Let's just uh, Orenberry everyone now before I forget. Hello there, yeah, it's going pretty good. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the stream. The stream where we are starting a new attempt because the last one I kind of just fucked up. Are you familiar with this one at all? With Run and Bun? It's one of those where I feel like surely everyone who tunes into a Run and Bun stream is kind of at least somewhat familiar with it. Doing a Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Okay. I, I only did, like, my first initial play for a Pokemon Sun when it came out. I never, like, had any urge to go back to it. I really, I, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy Pokemon Sun that much. It does seem like a kind of fun game to Nuzlocke, though, because, like, the gym, or the gyms, the, um, the trials, whatever they're called, they, they were pretty hard, I remember. Like, especially, the, was it the first one with the, uh, was it the Alolan Ratata? That was, like, the, the big guy there? I remember having some issues with him the first time I did him. I don't know if he's any, you know, problem if you have prior knowledge, but... Alright, the Metronome Trainer, we can just go into this, should be fine.
And the um, wasn't the the champion as well, the professor. He's pretty hard, isn't he? I just don't remember too much about Alola at all. Like, I've replayed every single Pokemon game I've ever played, except for Sun and Moon. <laughs> so, Gumshoes in Moon, and it's... And in Moon is Alolan Rathgate. Right, yeah, I had I had Moon. That's why I felt bad. Okay. Gumshoes is probably harder than Rathgate, isn't it? If I was to guess. Because the Rathgate's Dark-type as well, so you could, like, sort of just cheese it with fighting that. Whereas the Gumshoes is... Pure normal, or is it normal dark as well? Maybe I'm wrong. It's like my weak, my weak point in knowledge in Pokemon is just Gen five and six. No, five and seven. Sorry, I'm actually pretty familiar with X and Y because I played it quite a lot. Um, he's gonna fake out. We might as well just take that with the Growlithe before we swap out here. Um, berry juice. I don't have anything that one shot sets. Fuck it. Let's send this guy in. Why not? It's completely useless. So if they just, I don't know, gets a 1 kill move on the metronome, I don't care. Lock on. Awesome. This is where he gets Fisher next, obviously. Uh, I'm actually going to baby the last ones. Secret power, oh my god. Oh, it was a crit. Secret power electric, and then he paralyzed. That's just annoying. Uh, I mean, they have the same attack, so I might as well. And I go last because of the uh, paralyzed. There's no point in biting. Right. So the baby doll eyes literally saved this Lillipop's life. It's minus three attack, minus one defense. Um, can I one shot it with anything? I could probably one shot it with this. I can lower its attack another one with intimidate as well. Oh, own tempo, right? Okay, don't get like hydro pump. Thank you. Don't paralyze? Cool. We good. See what nice. Archer the Rowlet and Woody the Pickapack. Alright, so you are at the very start then, I'm assuming. Because you only have two Pokemon that are involved. Are you playing on like hardware with, you know Um just playing it normally, no like, you know, leveling with candies or anything like that? Because obviously in this one I, I am leveling with candies because it's run and burn and it's literally designed to do it. Playing on your 2DS, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I think I have my 3DS. Is it over here? Yeah. <laughs> I still have my OG 3DS here actually. What? Oh, wait, but there's a game in it. Oh, it's, it's Omega Ruby. I haven't touched this thing in so long. I still have... That's it. I pre-ordered and I got the special edition, so I got the uh, Steelbook. Which came with it in the UK. Uh, uh, Pokemon Moon. I'm assuming the game is in here too. Yeah, yeah. The game's still there. I still got it. They have them and a link between worlds. And then I, I did own Fire Emblem Conquest, which I sold. And I have Ocarina of Time 3D as well downloaded on it. But I didn't really like use my 3DS that much, to be honest.
Which may be my mistake, because like, there's a lot of games that were really good on it, but I just, I don't know. It's just that time in my life where I wasn't too into playing the handhelds. Like, I was playing on my Wii U, you know? I was one of the cool kids with a Wii U. Just got your searing, nice. I didn't mind the C, the C moves that much. Like, as far as gimmick things go in Pokemon, it was, it was like, it was okay. It's better than Dynamaxing. Um, right, what are we fighting next? Ah, oh, Krabby, Clubbers, Yamba. Right, who takes out this Yamba? It has to be you, right? As for the Krabby, it has to be you. So, just so you can see it as well, because you've obviously not seen it. I do have a little prep screen here. So these are all the trainers. Uh, again, I'm sort of assuming you're somewhat familiar with Run and Bun. Um, you know, doing Nuzlocks and tuning into Nuzlocke streams and stuff. But yeah, so I got the prep screen here with, you know, everything I need to know. Got a damage calc here as well, which we're gonna... Not really gonna worry too much about it until we get to uh, get to the Aqua guy. Then we'll start calculating damage because I don't think we need it until then. Good count, water count, same right as new count. Okay, to make it a little bit easy for yourself, I don't mind like that in somewhere like a Lola where there's so much water because you're just gonna end up with like so many water types. And it's just going to be like no, um, no variety to your team if you don't. Like, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, if you're going by super hardcore rules or whatever, it's like, oh, it's kind of cheating. But also just play, you know, whatever makes it more fun for you, right? Uh, what should I call this? Ekans. I'm going off like Fire Emblem characters as my theme. Um, don't know if you're familiar with Fire Emblem at all. Is there a purple guy? Surely there's like a purple head Fire Emblem character. I just can't think of any. Uh, Bernadetta. Let's go with Bernadetta. Why not? Bernadetta. Go back to there. Video screen I'm doing normal as like. Um right, let's heal back up. Alright. This one should be Oh my god, that race leaf does nothing. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe I should have damaged Calc. Just. <laughs> Alright, don't flinch me. Thank you. Okay, you did flinch me. Never mind. Um, it's fine. Let's quick attack him. Here comes the Yanma. What I probably should have done is just check the speed against him, but I feel like we should be fine. I mean, I might also just... Oh, use acrobatics. Oh, we're good. Oh, that is actually an unfortunate number. I might one shot him. Maybe I should have damaged Calc this guy. Ooh, I probably should have. It's fine. He's got a Sonic Boom again. Um, so we're actually fine here. Because he's gonna, obviously, he's gonna Sonic Boom. That would kill there. Oh, he's on 20 as well. That is unfortunate. Um, don't have any more priority moves, do I? No. 
Which means you won't get two moves in because of the speed boost. Um, who do I kill the Clobopus with? I probably just deal with the Pidgey. Even though the Pidgey is dog shit, it should be able to handle the Clobopus, right? I also could have imported and damage calc and seen if I was faster there. I maybe still was, but it would take longer than just swapping. It's like, oh no, I lost Norenberry, who cares? All right. Clover Plus comes in. Uh, yeah, I do want to change. I was thinking I could maybe just pluck and just kind of, you know, live it out. But if he uses bind, then I'm locked in with him and, you know, bad things can happen. So let's not risk it. All right, that's annoying. Um... Oh, this pitch is so bad. Uh, we do have the Orenberry here. Um, although I might be dead to a Rock Smash crit, you know? No, because the Orenberry triggers here, we're fine. Yeah. Of course he detects, because he's got the bind up. He's already very triggers, but he shouldn't do enough healing for me to not kill him with my next move anyway. Rock Smash, no crit. Okay, good. Rock Smash crit into bind would have killed me there, but it wasn't really an out. I just realized if he detected there, I could have died. I probably would have died to the bind. My second encounter is Brighton the Wingle. Nice. I love Wingle. Like, I understand that objectively it's not a very strong Pokemon. But in my very first Pokemon game, which was Pokemon Ruby, um, I had a Wing. I caught a Wingle on, like, the route. Is it 102? Uh, the one just north of Oldale? Might be 103, actually. Um, and it was, like, a core member of my party the entire playthrough. And I, I just. I love Wingle and Pelipper because of that. Um, right, I don't have anything to like super easily deal with magic garb. But I'm not gonna catch anything more. I'm not gonna level up anything more. So I might as well import the stuff into the damage calc now, right? Yeah, so these magic orbs are like kind of annoying, but not really an issue, right? So if we just, uh, I mean... <laughs> I realize I haven't leveled up my Atkins yet. Oh, whatever. I'm not going to think too much about it. I've never lost anything to these guys, and I'm not going to start now. Once we get past the first one, then then we're good. I'm sorry if you can hear the Discord sounds, by the way. Let me see if I can mute that. Um, 
I've already muted system sounds. I guess it comes through from Discord, so I'll just do that. There we go. That should mute that. Right. Magic up trainer, we're leading there, yeah. For the intimidate. Like this guy's just annoying. Setting that in. I'll just make sure he's minus one attack. Oh, he's got rattle, which raises his speed. Then okay, whatever. Um, he outspeeds me, right? Yeah, he outspeeds me pretty significantly. So I don't. Why did I press flame? Wall? I didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter. He outspeeds me anyway. I meant to press bite, and I just misclick. There's no difference between bite and cover here, is there? No, there isn't. Might as well just bite. wrong with magic arc. There's nothing wrong with him. He just uh, he uses bounce. And he's annoying and he's really fast. Which is a crit do? A maximum of 19. Ah, whatever. Just speed up, speed up. It's fine. Alright. Hydro Pump. So obviously we then go to our grass type, which tanks that pretty comfortably. Or oh, did we go to Sirski? Nope. a focus sash of course all right let's stop overthinking this and just send in the fucking grass type shall we let me just double check one hp flail on a crit does a maximum of 24 because he does have a focus sash which means he will stay stay alive here so i might have to dodge, dodge a crit Mm. Alright, we'll just do it. Oh, it flails here. That's fine. Which actually then puts me over 24 as well. So yeah, we're good. Crude. Here we go. Right. Now it's we're ready for the first guy who can actually like do a little bit of damage. Oh wait, no, there's one one guy first actually. The the rich girl. I forgot about her. With the attracts and the thunder waves. Alright, you give me the berries. And then we take these berries. Uh, I'm actually going to level up Ekins here. I realize Ekins is useful. We also haven't checked Ekins. I really like Ekins, actually, in this early game. Uh, poison Fang is really, really good. Having a 50 damage stab poison move this early is actually pretty good. Uh, you're useless, so you can just leave. by Walter. Alright. Let's check him. Intimidate, not poison point, okay. Really good IVs, really good IVs, holy shit. Um, plus attack nature as well. Sort of makes up for the average base attack IVs. We take that, we take that. Let's level him up. Or her, rather, Bernadetta. 
Uh, glare. Oh, it doesn't get poison point until uh, poison fang until next split. Okay. Uh, glare is obviously pretty good. It's guaranteed paralyze. Right. So let's go to the prep screen. Uh, so this one is actually a lot easier if you start with uh, with monkey or turtle, but we'll figure it out. So the fan B is just he's a non-issue. Who cares, right? Uh, who do we lead with though? The Minchino, the Track and Thunder Wave. I don't have any like super easy just hard counters to it. I think we just lead with the Growlithe. I kind of don't want to flame him though. Do we just like Ember him? How much does Ember do? HP. Um, Ember does 29 to 38. Obviously has the chance to burn as well. That's pretty good. Twenty-three speed. Just check in. Yes, he outspeeds the pimp up. Okay. Um Twelve. Uh, it's got Claire and Bite, right? Instead of regular Leer. There you go. Just update that so that we have that in here. Um. Yeah, I don't have any like good special moves against this guy, so we can't really play that much around the Q charm, unfortunately. This only a stomp on a track is not very fast. How much does a stomp do to you? Quite a bit. But I got other counters here too. Okay, I think we can start with Pimplot here. That's probably the best thing. Uh, so because of that, we have to... Went too far. Berries, there we go. We gotta give Cherry Berry to you. Uh, I wanna give a Cherry Berry to you. And a cherry berry to you. And then everyone else gets orange berries. Do you know about the Q, Q charm shiny glitch? No! What is the Q charm shiny glitch? I have not heard of this. I wonder if the Pidgey is actually better than this absolutely useless Lillipop as well, but whatever. Let's go. Again, I've never actually lost anyone to this trainer either, but it's, I don't know. You just, you can get really RNG screwed in this one, so. Uh, we lead off with a bubble, right? It thunder waves. Pluck. Oh, that's perfect. Actually perfect. Because he's got an Orin Berry. Which is why, one of the reasons why I wanted to leave with Pimplup. 
Uh, don't Q Charming? Wow, that could not have gone better. Alright, and then we just bubble twice. I don't remember how it works, it has to be the trainer ID in Gen 4. I'm trying to think, because I watched a video on like, I think it was from Johnstone or something, I can't remember. Uh, um, which was basically like, what are the easiest ways to catch shinies in every gen? And I'm trying to think if he mentioned something about that, maybe he did. Obviously now we are paralyzed and attracted, so... We're just gonna see how much does this swift crit do? Just 15. Oh, I just killed him. Okay, never mind. Um, so we can swap here because he's never gonna use Thunder Wave. He might attract. I'm gonna wait for the attract. As long as I can, at least. Uh, round crit does 15 max as well. Uh, Draining Kiss crit does 13 max. Okay. It's it's also holding an Auron Bear, so I'm going to pluck again. Alright, there's the Attract. Draining Skull Encounter is Magnemite. That seems pretty good. Like, really good, strong defensive typing. Uh, fast, strong special attacker, right? So it should be able to one-shot most flying types. Right. If we don't hit the plug, we have to sw switch. We didn't hit the plug. So it's gonna round. What do we do about that? The intimidate doesn't matter, but I actually th still think this is the play, right? Sip zap zop. Good name, strong name, brave name. Um, I don't want a flame wheel unless I have to. I'm gonna use Ember. Attract first, that's annoying. I wish you used the Thunder Wave first. Oh, well, now that I am attracted, I might as well Thunderwheel. Uh, yeah, Flame Wheel at least. Uh, round crit does 21, by the way. Right, I cherry berry this, right? Yeah, I did. Alright, don't fuck it up. Fuck. Alright, so now we are paralyzed and in love. This is why this trainer is so annoying. And now we have to switch. Nice. Really good hit on the flame wheel. Oh, so close. So close. Alright, well, tr proc the Auron Berry. Um, who's the last person I gave the cherry to. Yes, the Ekans. That makes sense. Oh, it didn't change these things. Put glare and bite in here. Right, it's the Jigglypuff. Um, I could glare. No, let's just poison this thing. My kill. Oh, it's so close. Poison it? No. Nope. That's fine. We cherry buried this. Right. Uh, Fampy comes in and does a maximum with Stomp of 16. He's probably gonna attract. Uh, I'm gonna give him a taste of his own medicine here. I'm gonna glare him. Because fuck him. So, so, sorry, just grabbing some stuff. That's alright. 
Grab your things. Magna pulls ability. All right, so that means you can get a steel type on another route pretty easily. Oh, hopefully. Does it? I'm assuming it works the same way. Uh, in Gen Seven as it does in Gen Eight onwards. I don't know, but I'm assuming it does. Oh my god, it does so little. Well, the special attack IVs on this like completely dark garbage. Must have been right. No. It just has really low stats. Like all the stats are just low, except speed, which is like okay. All right, that's fine. Good crit doesn't really matter. Actually, it probably does matter because I don't think I kill uh, with another one if I don't crit. Stomp, nice. As long as he doesn't use attract. Stomp crit does 15 in case I don't kill. Didn't kill. Now it attracts. You annoying bitch. Right. I mean, like, we won this. It's fine. Okay, cool. Because if I get hit by a stomp there, all I do is I just swatch. Uh, swatch. I switch to Sir Skit um, and I just kill. But. Now is the fun guy. The first fun guy. Right. It's a boss. It's the Aqua Grunt. Alright, this is really annoying me. Um There he is. There he is. Cool. So, normally, my thinking would be I just send this thing out and it just kills it. The problem is that it's really bad. And almost gets one shot by the poison fang as well. So I'm slower. I don't have a priority move. Like I can send out, I can raise a leaf. Right? And I can take down a lot. I could switch in here, I guess. But there's a chance it bites. Because after a poison fang, bite is within range to kill as well. So it's random move between poison fang and bite. Um, so that doesn't feel all too safe. How much does quick attack do? Not enough. Might be enough. I mean, it's about a 50% chance, right? Twenty-four. Quick attack does. So if it does twenty-six, I need. Wow. Yeah, no, I need a I need a max roll in order to quick attack kill it, which just isn't happening, is it? How the fuck do I kill this Carvana? <laughs> this is one of the issues with starting with Piplup is this guy. So it does have an Orenberry. But I can't bait like a water boss or aqua jet. I mean... I 
don't outspeed. So if it, it it's gonna water pulse me turn one, and then it's random move between bite and aqua jet or water pulse again, right? I like those odds slightly better, and then obviously this can come in and kill it. But I do need to dodge a crit on the poison fang. But there's also that minus one. Do I need... I mean, it's nice to have this to kill... Uh, to kill this guy, but I don't really need it. Like, I could... Bring Pidgey. <laughs> Never mind. Atkins does it, right? No, of course not. Confusion, what am I talking about? I mean, if it comes in here, then it baits confusion. People up does outspeed. Pluck doesn't do enough. I kind of want to bait bullet seed though. Then I can bring this in. I can. Right, it's got really high defense, does it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really have the best encounters for this. Gotta be honest. I mean... Race Leaf crit would do it. And Race Leaf does have increased crit chance. So it's not completely fictional, but like, what what is the crit chance on Race Leaf? Is it like 1 in 8 or something, probably? So it's not great. Um, but I think we just have to leave that. Is Pidgey useful at all? I mean, he is if I can send him in on a bullet seat here. Right? God, he still takes so much damage. What's a 5 8 bullet he gonna do? Almost half. But he does then survive another confusion as well, so I can gust at least once. Yeah, I think, I think Pidgey is worth bringing here. Although I wish it wasn't the worst IV Pidgey of all time. Brighton died, oh no. That that seems a bit early. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Brighton. Um, so we Orenberry, oh wait, hang on, I need to actually bring the Pidgey out, don't I? That'd be a good idea. Uh, this Lillipop is so bad. Right. Archer died to a crit thunderstruck from Magmite. Ooh. So you're out of flying types. That is unfortunate, isn't it? Oh wait, no, you got Rowlet, didn't you? So you do have some flying coverage still. Right. I, I don't think there's any point in having anything other than... Orem berries on most of these guys. I think I'm just gonna hope that I don't get paralyzed by the uh by the guy. The execute. Oh Archer is roll it, wait. Oh was it the uh the picky pack was um woody, right, yeah yeah. I mean, 
I'm not gonna say the run is dead, but that's not a great start. <laughs> to lose your starter and your only water type. This early. I don't know, Magnemite might good, be good enough early game to carry you through to get more encounters. Because Magnemite does, I don't know, just surface level Magnemite seems pretty good to me. Without remembering what is actually happening in the early game of uh, Pokemon Sun. Because of the teacher. I don't remember that fight. Isn't there a Grimer somewhere in that fight? That's like all I remember. And a Lolan Grimer. Um... Right. So we fucking just send it? Like, I am not confident in this fight at all. Let's do the actual battle music for this. Right. Just crit? Don't get poisoned? Ooh, should have seen that coming. Probably should have gone Petra. I think he minimum rolled on the. Uh... Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Oh no, no, he high rolled a little bit actually. So, okay. If he minimum rolls here, I live. That doesn't quite seem worth it. So okay, I know he's gonna poison Fang. So I basically have to go here, right? I can glare him, and that might be an out. We get the Intimidate, so he's now minus one. Which is great. He's now got a Water Pulse. Do I outspeed? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, we de we glare in. Honestly, for speed control more than anything else. Right. I think I have to stay in and try and dodge a crit. No, because I can't really wrap him because of shed skin either. So if he water pulses here and I go pip up. That seems pretty good to me. Okay. No confusion, that's good. Um, I don't want to pluck him, right? He's already used his Oran Berry. I don't want to get hit by the rough skin, so I'm going to bubble him. Which means I might have to do three instead of two, but... Like, I don't know. I, I don't want to take the rough skin. Okay, cool. We got the Paralyze. It Aqua Jets because it sees I have a kill with Pluck. <laughs> Minute of silence. Rest in pieces. Alright, that's fine. Okay, that, that did go pretty well in the end. The poison on the. Um, what's it even called? Steamy. It's unfortunate. Um, but whatever. Execute comes in and is going to bullet seed me. Because it has a straight up just a kill. Right? Even a two hit bullet seed might kill me <laughs> on a max roll. But that's fine. Because that means we can go here. Intimidate. Uh, actually, it does lower bullet seed as well. It's apparently physical. I thought it was special. Just do as little as possible. Mm, okay, free. Okay, free. Well, we'll take that. That's like average. Um, and then because it has so much more defense and special defense, Ember actually does more. I outspeed? I do outspeed. I could go for the bite. For the flinch. No, that seems stupid. Let's not do that. Let's just Ember him. No burn. That's annoying, but not... 
Not surprising. He stuns spores. Okay. I maybe should have seen that coming. Oh, that is the worst thing. All right. I'm now paralyzed. I'm leech seeded. If I don't hit this ember, okay. Don't harvest. Don't do it. Harvest, okay. So he just does it again right away because he's not over half. Oh my fucking god, this guy is the most annoying guy. Alright, well at least he didn't harvest again. Uh, can anyone take a, a confusion, like, comfortably? Not super comfortably, no. I kind of wish it harvested again, actually, because then I could have sent him Piplup, I could have plucked. <laughs> and we would have lived, but... Would you believe me if I said this dog shit bird is literally only one speed point faster than this execute? I have a feeling it's gonna fucking stun sport me again. Crit? Okay. Where's the stun spore? It's gonna leech seed me now, which is gonna proc my Orenberry. Oh, so you can now just, it can just infinitely do it. Okay. How are you supposed to beat this with... If you choose Piplup? I guess you just need like a fire start, a fire type in the grass there that like deals with it. Right, I need to hit this gust, okay. It harvests. Is the harvest like a 50% chance? Is it is it really required that it gets it 100% of the time? Is that like, is that by law or something? Only good news is that it might actually just bullets in. Alright, what we got? Actually, that would be very bad. Right, we're gonna have to play a little bit risky here. Please, confusion. Nice, so now it has the Orenberry. I am one speed point faster, I can pluck to eat it. And now, as long as he doesn't get like a four hit or a crit in there, I might actually survive a four hit as well. Okay, he leech seeds. No harvest, okay. That's annoying. Um, the one turn I needed you to fucking get it. Okay, he's either gonna stun spore. What if we fucking ball out and we assume the stun spore? And we go here. Right, we get the intimidate as well. Minus two. Stun Spore. He's gonna Confusion. Right?
Ember might kill. High roll Ember kills here. I reckon he leech seeds. He might confusion, but I reckon, yeah, he leech seeds. Okay. High roll Ember to kill. Fuck. It's so close. Okay, no harvest. No harvest. I mean, do we just... We just have to send it here, right? What else do I do? I could swap, but that just gives him another turn to get harvest. And I don't want that. Oh. How much does a Confusion Crit do? 19, max. Obviously with the Leech Seed. I mean, even if he minimum rolls, I die to the Leech Seed if he crits. But I, I just have to send it. This fight is so scuffed. Okay, no crit. I got paralyzed. Alright, GG. Only good thing is that he might genuinely just bullet seed. No, he's he's not gonna bullet seed unless he high rolls. No, he's not gonna bullet seed at all, actually. He's a hundred percent not going to bullet seed. Um Is Pluck enough to kill? No. No it isn't. Okay, here's what we're going to do. He's going to Confusion. So I'm going to do this. Right. Alolan Grimer. Probably pretty good. He crits. Doesn't really matter. Um, I heal up. Now, either he Stun Spores or he Leech Seeds. Either way, I Bubble Beam. Give me stun spore. Okay. Good, good. Maybe he can't harvest because I plucked his berry now. Maybe that's what it is. Um. There's no world in which he bullet seeds here. He might confusion. But he probably leech seeds. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> Would he die to poison? Oh no. Not in the overworld, I hope. Right. Um, right, so here are confusions. So I go here. The problem is there's another Pokemon after this, so like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. No crit. Alright, nice. There's the Orin Berry. And then he dies to Pluck. So he's gonna fake out. I bring you in. Cause I wanna bait the poisons thing so I can get Bernadetta in safely. Grimer's name is Cyanide. That's that's a good name. Um I actually died to Rock Smasher. Uh, Rock Smasher is fine too, actually. As long as I don't get the defense drop. Which, I, I don't know if it's guaranteed or not. I feel like I see it every time, but we'll see. Oh, no, 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 wait, hang on. I'm just looking at the wrong thing. Um, 
it's equally as likely to poison sing a rock smash. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Defense drop as well. Minus one. Uh, so now it, it's just gonna rock smash again. I'm gonna glare, because this is like my one victory condition. It's just paralyzed here. Five. It must be guaranteed defense drop. It must be. Right, so we're minus two. Rock Smash does on a crit, 16 max. A poison touch, I don't care about that. Uh, I'm actually gonna wrap, because I basically do no damage to him anyway. So this is gonna, in the long run, be more damage. Paralyzed, nice, good start. Uh, my one victory condition here, I think, is actually to go here and pluck the Salak Berry. Because then he can't use Belch, and then we should be able to win from there. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Alright. Oh! That was... The hardest Aqua fight, Aqua Grand fight I've ever had. Wait, Poison Touch can fucking poison on their moves too? I didn't know that. Um, is Puck guaranteed to kill? There might be a minimum roll where he doesn't kill. I'm just gonna send it. We're good. <sighs> Holy shit. How did I get out of that deathless? <laughs> oh. How the hell did I get out of that deathless, dude? Like, everyone has a status condition of some kind. And. Everyone is below half health as well. Oh, wait, no. How many Pokeballs do I have? Go the wrong way. 16. Okay, we got a lot of Pokeballs. Good. So I just remembered you can't um, buy. Pokeballs until you get to Slateboard now. Time to face Team Skull with a Magmar and a Grimer. Team Skull has Dark types, right? Mostly? I actually can't remember. Is there like Poison and Dark? Like, you actually got a surprisingly okay team for that. Hello. What's that thing? You do not need to apologize for anything, Jane. Do not worry. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. You didn't do it. It wasn't me. Ooh, fire fang. Hang on. Kind of bug. Um, I kind of don't want to get rid of Ember, but I think I will. Wait, is there any chance at uh, any point in having flame will if i have fire fang not really right it's just better in every way like if i have ember at least i have a special attacking move you know that doesn't make contact for poison point and those kinds of abilities all right we have all this son of a bitch boom metal claw uh for pound this guy is so fucking dog shit, but you know, at least he now has Air Cutter and Feather Dance, so it has a little bit of utility. Uh, oh my god, it's so bad. Right. Ekans now has Poison Fang, which is great. Trial Captain Lima. Yeah, I mean, that might be more of an issue with your, with your two little guys, right? <laughs> Than the grunts. All 
Right. Uh, let's do that because this is going to be a fighting type of some kind. Okay, okay, Tyrogue. Uh, I'm alright with that. It's pretty hard to catch, isn't it? I'm gonna glare it first. This is why I led with uh, with Ekins as well. It's the only status move I have. Nice. This is like a uh, Tyrog is like a trainee, basically. I'm gonna call him Ross. Again, keep him with the uh, Fire Emblem theme. Ross is like the, the trainee of. Uh, FE8. Well, one of them. One of the free trainees in FE8. Uh, no reason not to just go for the fishing right away. Alright, I want a horsey. Uh, and I don't know what else I want. I don't want a rim raid. I'm fucking sick of this fish. It's so bad. Fish guy. Uh, let's uh, go with dart. Right, I've got plenty of pokeballs to go for the fishing on the other route as well, so we might as well. What do we got? A tootle. Okay. Sure, it's pretty good. Nice, got him in one. Um, I'm gonna call this one. What's her name? Lucina. Right. Let's level these guys up, get them into the calc, and uh, move on with our lives. I think Lilip evolves here, which would be very helpful. Tyrogue isn't particularly useful for this split. Uh, once I get to Brawly though, it does evolve. So, that is something at least. Fed Remoraid, Psy Beam and Aurora Beam does add a little bit of coverage at least, if nothing else. Lost to run, yeah, I mean it wasn't gonna go particularly well without your starter already, was it? If we're completely honest about it. Um, there it is. Tabot still doesn't have headbutt. Actually, it doesn't learn headbutt for some weird reason. It learns takedown on the next level, but. Right. So, I actually remember the next guy. It's the one with the. Um, leads with the star you with Mystic Water. And it does have Aurora Beam as well. So, okay. Actually, before we do that, let's import the stuff into the calc before we do anything else. Like. like that, there we go. Stars. Star you. There we go. 
So surely my grass type, which doesn't exist here. Which I think might be because I was holding it while I was importing. Weird. So it didn't like show up as actually there. I think? It's just not here. Okay. Interesting. Um, there we go. Surely my grass type beats this guy. He's outsped and he doesn't get two shot. So maybe he does actually. Which would be fun. Because it's really bad. Time for run two. Hell yeah. Always on the grind. Okay, so I kill this with two racer leaves. Hopefully. If I get crit, we gotta figure something out. Um I mean the thing is, right, if I what if I then bait... Obviously I bait a second Aurora Beam. Can anything I kill it? Not without also having to dodge a crit, right? I can go to Tutel, but then he has to dodge the Shockwave crit, so that doesn't help. I could go Surskin and struggle back. Is that, is that a guaranteed kill? Not if I low roll with the uh, with the razor leaf. I guess we can just see that, you know. Poison Fang is a guaranteed crit, a uh, guaranteed kill. Sorry. But I might have to dodge the side beam crit. I'm just gonna steeny. We're just gonna steeny and we're just gonna do it, you know? It'll be fine. Alright, your dog shit. Uh, you can come in there. And you can come in for the remorade. And, like, this should be perfectly fine. Uh, we just orange bury everyone. Because there's no static conditions to worry about. Of course, if he crits the first one, the Orenberry might just save me from a uh, non-crit on the second one, so. He's not gonna crit twice in a row, right? That's, that's fucking fiction. That's just not happening. Right, Steenie's leading, holding the Orenberry, it'll be fine. It'll be fine! What could go wrong? <laughs> Can't believe I lost round. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, you've got to play around crits, but also in the early game, you don't have that many chances to do that. Let's raise lift crit kill. Can do. Okay. Um, he did 20, he high rolled, he didn't max roll. So, yeah, I mean, we just have to dodge the fucking... The crit. That's all. Just don't crit me. Yeah. We're good. Uh, this probably brings in the Arcuda, right? Should do. Seismic Toss doesn't kill, so he does not kill, but this guy will have a kill with the peck, yeah. So he'll come in with the uh, gem boosted peck to kill me, right? Bite doesn't kill, peck does, yeah, so this is always peck. Um, which, like, I don't have any super duper, like, clear just this fucking kills it 100%, you know, easy, but I'm assuming my starter just fucking walls this, right? Yeah, 100%. Easy. There's the 
pack. Just remove the fucking show, sure, whatever. It did like nothing. Uh, and then Bubble Beam is actually the highest damage, so we might as well just do that. Prepple does get outsped, which is annoying, but it is max speed IVs, so it, it, you know, can't blame the IVs for that one. It's just a slow Pokemon against a pretty fast Pokemon. Okay. I mean, I, yeah, I could just get fucking flinched to death, sure. It is always gonna press bite, unless... Actually, yeah, it's always just gonna press bite. Unless I get a speed drop from Bubble Beam, which can happen, right? Or is it just bubble? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Another crit, okay. Two for two for crits. Flinch as well? No, okay, cool. Right, the Lombre's gonna come in, he's gonna Giga Drain. Um, that shouldn't be an issue to deal with. We can just go to Ekans and he just kills, right? Yeah. Uh, it outspeeds and it two shots, so that's fine. It needs at least three turns to kill me, even if it crits every move. All right, Giga Drain crit does maximum of 30. Bubble Beam crit does maximum of 55. So even if he crits here and then crits the Giga Drain, we are uh, again crits the Bubble Beam, we're fine. That's 55%, that is not actual numbers. Uh, bubble Beam crit reference does 24 damage, so. I guess Teeter Dance is its only play, right? Make me confused and then just hope I kill myself somehow. Why did Seismic does? Alright. I guess it is a random move because he doesn't see kill with anything, but like, I thought it would be um, leaning towards whatever is the highest damage. I guess not. Right, now it's the Munchlax guy. But let me just pick up the free items and... Um, right, let's just double check this guy a little bit. I'm actually going to be right back. I'm just going to run to the toilet.
Hello. I have returned. I have commissioned my girlfriend to make me a coffee as well. Um, right, how do we deal with this uh, this Dwebble guy? So, I'm assuming we just lead Pimplop against this guy. Bubble Beam one shots, outspeeds. Yeah, no problem. He probably sends in the Munchlax. Uh, if he Belly Drums, we just Bubble Beam twice. And if he doesn't, we just bubble beam until he does. We can also eat the salad berry if required, but I don't think we actually have speed. Uh, we need that. We just need to make sure we bring Growlithe to kill this guy, right? Firefang or Ember two shots, not a problem at all. He doesn't take any damage on the switch in. Uh, and the Sandy Ghast. He's gonna come in last, he's gonna bulldoze. And Pidgeotto just walls that. Alright, easy enough. Uh, do I have everyone here? Piplup. Okay, I just need to bring the uh, Growlithe. And then we got all. And we got it all. That's not the right screen. That's the right screen. Uh, for Surskit, doesn't do anything here. No, I'm not going to be quick attack for anything because I outspeed everything anyway, I think. Um, and just for fun, let me just have a quick look at this Munchlax. Plus six attack. Does anything survive a headbutt? I think if my starter doesn't, then nothing else does. Oh, my starter does actually on one roll. Actually, three, there are three rolls which just not kill my starter with that belly drummed headbutt. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I guess I will Orenberry, just because why not? But I don't think I need it. But it's not like you're fucking short on Orenberries in this game, is there? So. Bubble Beam to one-shot this guy. Oh! That's actually a little bit annoying, but I don't think it really matters. Just Bubble Beam here. Why did you go... This makes no sense to me. Why is the AI swapped in Marwell? Right? It doesn't... It does less damage than Sandy Gust. It normally goes Munchlax when he doesn't see any kills with anything. Like, at least Sandy Gust has the Mega Drain, right? Which does more damage than Covert. Strange. Um, okay, there's the Munchlax. Good. I was gonna say, if this is now the Sandy Gust, I might actually be in a little bit of trouble. But... Just bubble Beam. Give me the Belly Drum. Crit doesn't matter. He Belly Drums. Alright. He's a Salak Berry, doesn't matter, he's still way slower. Um, now I have this out here. Oh wait, Bubble Beam just one-shots, okay. Cool. <laughs> right, so Primplup does that, I guess, against that guy. So that is uh, the first, I think, plus point to Primplup. Not the hardest trainer in the world, but he is like, you know, <laughs> it is a potential wipe if you can't deal with the Munchlax. But I think all starters can feasibly deal with that Munchlax pretty easily. Right, I'm delaying the encounter here. Um, unless I feel like I desperately need it before uh, I've dealt with the Aqua Grunts to see if we can get Magnet Pulse, see if we can get Togedomaru. 
Just in Lytton this time. I think Lytton is the best one. I don't know, maybe I'm biased. I chose Lytton for my casual playthrough and it kind of just, you know, dominates the entire game, so. Like, Fire Psychic type in the late game is so nice. It's not a good defensive typing. It's a, it's a really bad defensive typing, the more I think about it, but it's a really good offensive typing. Right, you have a lot of coverage. Oh yeah, wait, hang on, because it's Sinro. Sorry, I was thinking, um, I was thinking Gen 6. Uh, the, the, the Fox. What the hell is it called? I can't remember. But yeah, I mean, actually, Fire, Fire Dark is a pretty okay defensive typing as well. Incineroar is busted. So, yeah. Pretty good. Um, I'm not thinking too much about this guy. I, I, I remember off the top of my head who comes next. Uh, I need to remember to pick up the Silk Scarf, though, while I'm in Dufer. But let's get the Soft Sand here. Uh, Fire Fang. Peony goes in here. On the Shockwave. Okay, maybe I should have thought a little bit about him. Because I didn't... <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you, baby. Excuse me. Carry on. <laughs> as you were, as you were. Um, right, so I like die to a fire punch or an ice punch here. It's kind of annoying that it's either fire or ice punch. Um, although that does mean I can go here. And it should be fine regardless. Intimidate as well, which is doesn't actually matter too much because uh, he's got a shockwave at me after I do this. But All right, I have to keep in mind the quick attack here. I was always going to prop the Auron Bear there, meaning I don't die to the shockwave crit. But if he does crit me, and I don't kill with Fire Fang, which I think there's a chance I don't. Maybe on a minimum roll? I'm actually not sure. Maybe I'd do anyway. But whatever. Doesn't matter. He does that. Magby comes in and Mark punches. Actually, he's he outspeeds me, so he probably brick breaks. Uh, although he could Mark punch. It doesn't really matter. Either way, I go here and we just kill him. Yeah, he brick breaks. Uh, he definitely outspeeds me again. Again, doesn't really matter. Ooh, maybe it does. It does not matter. All right. Uh... Who's next? Oh, the Fletchinder Herdier trainer. Right, right, right. That one shouldn't be much of an issue. Does it have like shockwave or something? No, air layers, flame charge, steel wing. Okay, I feel like we're probably fine with just leading there. Um, and then, depending on the health, we might just be able to stay in and just kill it. Kaiba. Kaiba the Kitten. Kaiba from um, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, but my girlfriend did, and I think I think I remember things. Isn't he like the, the arrogant bad guy of, of Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> I guess that kind of fits in Cinderor a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, all I want to know is how much does... Growl it take from a headbutt. I mean, if he max rolls me twice, he does kill me with a headbutt, but I also out. No, I don't outspeed, actually. That's bad. Whatever. It should be fine. Fletchinger, Bubble Beam. 
Herdier. Uh, Intimidate. Okay, he's got Lumberry. Okay, we just bubble beam three times. We should be. F right, he flinched me. Um. Okay, so headbutt crit kills me here. But he's equally as likely to press to click bite here. Almost, actually. Not quite. I think I just oh, hang on now. So if he headbutts. Yeah, that's what we do. We go Pidgeotto. Right. He headbutts me here, yeah. Didn't crit. 33 health. Ice Fang crit. Probably kills me. And yeah, I don't want to take an Ice Fang anyway, because I want to guarantee that he uses Ice Fang so I can get Roy in safely. This also gets an Intimidate off. Which is pretty good against this guy. Uh, yeah, and from there I think we just win, right? Yeah. Only thing that only way I didn't win that is if I freeze if I get frozen by. But I didn't, so. Right, just checking. Headbutt crit does. Okay, well headbutt crit does actually kill me here. Um But I don't have anything that outspeeds him, right? Seven, so not quite. Twenty-six, no, no. So we just got, we just have to dodge the crit, like, because everything else gets two shot by the headbutt anyway. So dodge the crit, good. I flinch. All right, um, dodge the crit a second time. Every roll of crit kills me, by the way. So. Okay, nice. Got him. <clears throat> Little bit spooky, but... Completely riskless, really, if you think about it. And now it's the fucking rain dance dickhead. I hate this guy. Mostly because I never have a rock type that just one-shots him. <laughs> Uh, although we could fish for the Tortuga, actually. I have plenty of balls. That's actually probably a play. Let's do that before we do anything else. Uh, okay, I will, though, because Tortuga's kind of hard to catch. I will, just in case, I will heal up. See it. Nice, we got it. Hang on. That's clutch. Intimidate. Pretty big. Pretty big. Let's glare him. Smackdown does do a lot. When we're just going to try and catch here. Nice, got him. Um, Sass to have the name of an armor knight of some kind, right? Let's call him Barst. Barst, the armor knight. I remember him. Where's he from? I can't remember. <laughs> FE6? I think it's 6. It's definitely one of the GBA ones. Um, I genuinely can't remember who he's from because I, I never use armor knights in, in, in the GBA ones at least. All right, let's just level them up and see what we're looking at. Uh, 
Because that might also bait a um, thunder shock, a shockwave, sorry, from the, um... oh, he's got really good moves, that's the thing. Don't even know what to get rid of, I guess whirlpool. Block, no. Uh, yeah, might bait a um, shockwave from the wing as well, which means we don't set up rain dance, hopefully. Export. Where is he? There he is. Take Tuga into here. Right. Now, let's go on the prep screen. Right? Because I, I don't. This guy is a little bit scary. This is definitely one of the. This one and like the Aqua Bus boss that we fought earlier are the two that I feel like you could actually lose things on. Before you get to the uh, the second aqua ground boss, right? Because this wingo with water pulse, air cutter, shockwave, and rain dance, right? If it rains, if it uses rain dance, it sets up rain for these two, who both have switch swim, so they will just outspeed everything and obviously do a lot of damage with the water pulse. Tertuga though, on a smackdown, one shots. And he does not get one shot by the shockwave or the one. Okay, so he probably does use rain dance here. Solid rock. What does solid rock do? Because I thought it was either shell armor or swift swim, but weak and super effective. That's why. Okay. Um. Alright, so if we set up rain. Then we are a little bit in trouble. Although not massively. Okay. Water pulse crit into pursuit could kill me if it's a water pulse high roll. Um which is obviously a problem. Politoed. Oh my god, it doesn't even one shot it with Razor Leaf. That's so embarrassing. Alright, well, the Tortuga 100% has to come in. Has to come with us. Right, I'm gonna need Primplup in this one. Uh, I will probably not need Roy the Growlithe. Although, although the Intimidate would be nice, but I can't like, he gets one shot by everything though, that's the thing, so I can't really get him in. So no, no, he's, he's not useful here. Uh, Sarskid probably is. Uh, head of Tootle, be my guess. I don't know, Tootle might actually be pretty good against this guy. Right, the Ice Fang with a strong jaw. It's not bad. Um, although I kind of like what I have here. He's gonna run to his revenge the pick pack. Nice. Don't let him die to poison this time. <clears throat> right. We just. We definitely Auron bury everyone here. Like I said, this is the first kind of scary fight on, since we fought the Aqua. Uh, Right. 
I'm going to do the battle music for this, why not? Smackdown. Nice. Nice. No confusion? Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's a very good start. So now the Buizel's gonna come in and he's gonna click Water Pulse. He has to because that's the only thing that kills. I, guess, I don't know, maybe there's a chance he pursues. But I feel like he only pursues if Pursuit kills. Um, so if he clicks Water Pulse... Razor Leaf does no damage to him. <laughs> oh my god. Peony is so pathetic, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. Um... Why didn't you Water Pulse? Oh, it was not a guaranteed... He must have minimum rolled. I thought it was a guaranteed kill. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> um, it's definitely just going to Sonic Boom every time. Can you explain to me why Bubble Beam supposedly does... 50% of this guy's damn health. I mean, that's pretty fucking high special attack, so I think I just got my first... I think I just got my answer to that. Holy shit. Alright. The problem is, though, he outspeeds, he sonic booms, and now Orenberry isn't enough. That's why I needed it to be Water Pulse. It also, yeah, the calc is so wrong. Why does it think that I do so much to him? Oh, because it, right, rain. Ah, that was the problem. I was calcing with rain the entire time. So I forgot to turn the rain thing off. Um. Ah, that's just me being a little bit stupid, isn't it? Right. It's fine. We can go here. We can struggle bug him. So he is... You wanna know what's funny? There's one roll of Pursuit which kills me. And I'm not sure if Quick Attack kills him. <laughs> I feel like it should. But I am not 100%. <coughs> Surely it's more likely. No, no, you know what? It kills him. Surely it kills him. I'm on the wrong stream. Um, right, well there went my entire Brawly strap, so that's that's fun.
was so stupid. I'm so fucking dumb. Right. Uh, do I dodge a sludge here? No. Unless he crits. Um, but, I mean... Or I get poisoned. <laughs> I just literally thought that as I fucking saw him click sludge. It's fine, I got Orenberry. It's fine, I've got Orenberry. Calculated. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that would kill me so fucking easy. Holy shit. Um. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we only lost the one that was going to carry us through Brawly. That hurts so fucking bad. Oh, what do we do? <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Wait, no, I need to fucking bring. Uh, all right, let's um. Turn the music back on. Why did I risk that? Well, I guess it was a risk either way, and it was like the same chance, basically. Like, if I don't minimum roll quick, that probably kills. And he needs maximum roll on pursuit, so it was like basically the same odds, I think, but still. Maybe not. Maybe I've just, you know, used my eyes wrong. Rip to Seda the Surskit. But like, it's entirely my fault, not just because of that, but also because I forgot to uh, t turn off the rain on the calc. So I didn't realize he was Sonic Boom on my Pimple Up Switch. I thought he was always gonna Water Pulse, because that was gonna kill Tortuga. So like, it's just entirely on me, really. Like... This guy just has five bunk bugs that all get killed by uh, Firefang, so not too scared about this guy. Um, did I grab the? Uh... Silk scarf. I didn't. Okay. Who is next? Any Palm Need Rain or Luxio, right? I remember this one. Right, A Palm would fake out, Aerial Ace, double hit, and Sand Attack. Double hit is apparently normal type. I thought it was fighting type. Um. Right, so my initial thoughts are that Tier 2 go just completely walls this guy, and that is actually correct, looking at the calcs. That's entirely correct. Uh, which then probably brings out Luxio, right, with Spark. Although, surely it's Luxio. And then against the Spark, we don't have a ground type. We don't have anything, really. Um, I, would, I would go Sini, but like, it's so bad. It's such a bad Pokemon, holy shit. Like, we can go here and get off one Fire Fang. It's not like I need this against Nidorino anyway, right? Do one Fire Fang, it sparks again. We go... I don't even know. It's also faster than everything I have, which is a problem. I can't outspeed it with anything. Uh, like, Surskid is... Oh, right, dead. Let's put that away. Uh, 
could clear it. Does mean I have to survive two sparks though. Which is like, obviously very likely. It means to max roll me twice or get a crit. Right, then I can glare it. It sparks again, then I send in this. Yeah, that has to be it. Uh, which obviously we do send in. Also, hang on, we got Oran Berries, so. It might be fine. Uh, I got a. Is it better to give a Cherry Berry? It probably is. It's it's more like it's way more likely to paralyze me back than it is to uh, max roll me twice, right? So we give cherry berry to both of these guys, and then surely Primplub just kills this guy, right? Yeah, that's easy enough. I'll give him a petra though, because I don't want to have to deal with the uh, poison boosted Venoshocks. I think it's, that's probably more valuable than having an Oranberry. If I get poison on the switch in, that's a really, really bad situation. I mean, could there be a way for me? What if I just like... No, that's really bad. That's really bad. No, we have to leave Tortuga. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna bait Spark anyway, pretty much regardless of what we do. We're almost always gonna bait um, Luxio Spark. Like if this could um, could wall it, then maybe we could have baited Nidorina second. But whatever, it'll be fine. Um, what do we do here again? Do we just smack down? Well, I need to do three turns anyway. To kill him. Uh, so I might as well mud slap. I mean, obviously fake outs here. But like, I might as well just mud slap the first one. Because I'm always going to have to use free moves. And yeah, he sand attacks me like a little bitch. That... Felt exceptionally minimum rolling. Oh wait, hang on, I'm looking at the wrong fucking calcs. Oops. I mean, I was okay. I was probably gonna have to three times from anyway, so it's fine. Um. He missed. Huge. I hit. Even huger. Yeah, yeah. Definitely worth. Definitely worth. As long as I hit this. Which I did. <laughs> right. Oh, it's actually Nidorino next. Okay. Um, he probably double kicks me. It does have poison point. I'm gonna mud slap it. It might sand attack me. No, okay. Double kick. Uh, which lowers effectiveness of super effective moves, by the way. So, like, <laughs> doesn't even do that much. That's my ability, that is. Uh, solid rock. Right. Just one accuracy drop. It's got black sludge to heal a little bit. That's. I am fucking stupid. I'm very stupid. I'm very dumb. Very, very silly boy. And I've had my mic muted since I came back. Like a silly, silly boy. Um, but yeah, nothing interesting happened while I was muted. You know, I just lost the, the one guy I was going to defeat Broly with. So, you know. No biggie. Oh, fucking missing. Right. Oh, wow. He just walled it. All right. Now I feel much, much better about what's happening. Um, I would actually be a little bit tempted to stay in. I mean, I'm dead to max roll crit, but I would be tempted to stay in if it wasn't for the fact that I, um, uh, I've been 
you know, I got like two accuracy drops anyway. So. But because this is the last guy, it means we can play a little bit more aggressive here. No paralysis, nice. Razor leaf. Oh, wait, that's spooky. Hang on. I should have gone Growlithe. Special attack plus one. Wait, Spark is physical. Wait, all these moves are physical. Hang on. Does Howl raise attack or special? I thought it was special attack. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking attacky to me. Okay. I'm just going to put the plus one just in case. I don't know why it doesn't spark though, it does more damage. Um, I'm dead to max roll spark here, so I'm gonna go... We're gonna lower attack. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go intimidate mons to lower attack. It was always gonna be the play anyway, but... Extra now. Uh, it actually has Lumberry, I didn't even think about that. But that means, essentially, I can't glare him. Uh, he's no longer plus one attack, he's neutral attack. Uh, crit spark does kill me, but I don't think I have a choice. I just have to try and poison fang him here. Nice. Uh, how does race base attack? Yeah, okay. Not special. Good to know. Did I crit him or something? Wow, I didn't even see what happened. Did not pay attention. My question is, hang on. Okay. Want to see if it was also muted on the prep screen and it was, so. No one heard anything. Um. Right, it's just one guy left, right? What do we got here? We have, yeah, the Mianfu Nidorina Fluffy trainer. That's, that one isn't too bad. Although it is significantly easier if your flying type just kills the Mianfu in one, uh, which obviously my flying type very much does not, because it's Awful. Um, so, I mean, it outspeeds me anyway. So the speed drop from Rock Tomb doesn't matter. So I just, I, I mean, just don't get crit for it. All right. It's kind of all there is to it. Oh, it's already here. Right. Um. Right, the Flaffy is kind of shit, if I remember correctly, but... So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, it does have Fire Punch, but it also has, like, no attack, so... The Fire Punch doesn't do anything. Like, it, it might... It probably two shots this, actually, which is annoying. Um, but obviously, so we kill Mianfu with this. Right, worst case scenario, I'm on, I say worst case scenario, um, barring any crits, I can be anywhere between 1 to 9 HP, uh, which means either kills, it probably just goes this, that's fine. Who deals with this though? It's just Pimp Blap, I'm assuming, Pimp Blap. Like the shockwave does some damage, but not too much. Yeah, so I'm gonna berry. I'm a petra berry. This guy. Right. I'm gonna cherry berry this. Uh, and I'm also gonna cherry berry this. 
everyone else just stays Oran. And then we are just goated with the Swaus, you know? It'll be fine. All right, Haley. You and me. Broke Tomb. Do 22, which is a high roll, not a max roll. Again, I am 100% simply playing to not get correct. Reversal surely doesn't do enough. It's close. Right. 12 HP should basically send out Nidorina, right? Yeah. Because Nidorina now kills with anything. Uh. Okay, there's a world in which Water Pulse doesn't kill. It probably just shockwaves, because super effective move. So if I... Hang on, crazy, crazy idea. <laughs> Right, because of Solid Rock, Shockwave doesn't actually do that much. I say it doesn't do that much, I think that was a max roll. Uh, almost. What does Shockwave crit do? 28 on a max roll. So what I was thinking is we can sneak in a mud slap here. Toxic. Okay, am I Orenberry? Guess so. I'm poisoned. Venoshock. Crit might kill. Venoshock, no crit into poison does not kill. Shockwave into poison does though, so he probably shockwaves here, right? Do I just need to stop being a little pussy and just fucking hard switch here and yeah, just just don't be a little bitch, I guess. All right, no crit. Good. Got Lumberry, okay, so we just bubble beam. Shocker crit does twenty four max. Right, I'm patch on it, okay. Um, just don't get shockwave crit for it. We're good. All right. Do I kill it? I do, nice, good roll. Don't think that was guaranteed. Right, the Flaffy now comes out, and it doesn't kill with Fire Punch. Okay, so this is guaranteed Shockwave, uh, which is actually kind of annoying. So I would like to get Roy in on a Fire Punch. So we're going to go Peony here. Right, shockwaves. Uh, there's a 
solid chance it thunder waves or confused rays. So I'm gonna stay in a turn. Okay, nice. That's fine. Um, now he should just fire punch again because now he sees a kill with it, so he has to. Maybe he, there's a chance he thunder waves, but I don't think so. Intimidate, of course. It's actually kind of helpful as well. Minus one attack. Uh, let's see, fire punch, that does nothing. Shockwave, crit does 21. No, nope, that's not true. It does 37. It does have static, but I have cherry berry. Nice. Don't think it matters because I don't think he dies to the burn here anyway. But this does mean we have one. <laughs> Oh, and then he found a way to us. Okay, cool. Oh, fucking confused, right? I might just switch. Right, he doesn't die to the Ember here. He does die to, uh, he does to the Ember. I meant to say he doesn't die to the burn, but uh, that wasn't relevant anyway. All right, so we have completely fucked it, and uh, our search gets dead, which is unfortunate. Uh, doesn't matter too much for the actual aqua traders here though, so I'm just gonna play that normal for now. Um, and I think Pimplum is probably pretty fucking good against these guys, and obviously we have the Tortuga as well to one shot the Murkrow. Right. Oh, Smackdown is not a guaranteed. Oh, Smackdown into Aqua Jet is a is a kill. Okay, yeah. I knew this worked. I know. I know. I've done this before. Um, what we didn't check though was we didn't check if this guy's any good. Plus attack, minus defense. Okay, good IVs. I'm right with that. Minus defense is kind of annoying because this feels like a more defensive Pokemon, but at least it has good attack. And good IVs for attack as well, which is obviously what it you know is supposed to do. And it does have really, really good defense IVs, which maybe makes up for the uh, for the nature. Right. Anyway, Tortuga kills this guy easy. Skrelp probably comes in, although it could be Tortuga. Um. If Shrell comes in, it's uh, with a Toxic or a Water Pulse. I reckon it's probably with a Toxic, you know. If I go Ekans, obviously that will not be affected by the Toxic. Um, then it's going to Water Pulse. <sighs> Doesn't do anything. Um, and that takes too much damage. That is dog shit. Maybe we just stay in. Right. Smackdown. A little bit. Mud slap once. We probably mud slap once before we swap regardless. Okay. Headphones stop just randomly changing. Please. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Pichotto's garbage. Obviously this is very bad. Right, so if he does Toxic, which I think he's likely to do, we can Petra Berry and bait that, right? Which means we can get a pretty heavy Smackdown in. If it toxics again, then you know we're set. Um, although I think it's a decent chance he oh, black sludge as well. Uh, yeah, decent chance that he water pulls the second one, but we'll see. Um, it's 
probably have the prep screen up, but I don't know. Right, right, right. But yeah, I think Tortuga is a is a definite start. Okay, covered is weak to that. We got a fake album on here. Not a very good one, but what about the Remoraid Psybeam? In on the water pulse that happens after I actually get poisoned, right? Um, after I get poisoned, I reckon he to he protects. By the way, instead of water pulsing, so I'm actually not gonna. Okay, let's just take you out for now. I'm actually not going to Petra Berry. I'm going to Auron Berry this. Because again, I think he protects and then he will Acid me twice. Um, he outspeeds me, right? No, he does not. Which is nice. Okay, so then we deal with those two. That's fine. Now, my grass type is dog shit. Right? After Rinderberry, it does 20. Whatever, if it doesn't have Rinderberry, it still only does 43. Why are you so pathetically bad? It's it's so fucking embarrassing how bad you are. Which means we actually have to go Pimplup here to kill it. Which is exceptionally fucking stupid. Um... But okay, I feel like I can do that pretty pretty easily with what I have here. Right? And then the next guy comes in. With this thing. If we are poisoned... Then surely he just Venoshocks right away. I can probably just go here and just uh, paralyze with glare and then just wall it. That's fine. Right? Brings in this thing. It's gonna roll out. Oh, you don't two shot. Ah, you're so embarrassingly bad. Um, we smack down two shot him. If Dortuga has the health. If not, we fucking mad improvise, right? I don't really see how else we do that. Uh, once the Frillish comes in, probably uses Hex. It just does too much damage to me. Lumberry. I don't know. I feel like we kind of just have to improvise at that point. Um, I'm not going to bring Growl if that doesn't seem useful. We bring a normal type. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Herdier is actually fucking great for that. Wait, that's like the only use I've found for this guy so far. It's also Intimidate, isn't it? So I might be able to pivot through it as well for an Intimidate. Yeah, it is. Amazing. Alright, I think we got it. Um, it doesn't feel completely riskless to me. Yeah, you do not want a cherry berry. You do want a petra berry. Uh, you don't want a cherry berry, right? Now I think. All right, petra, petra. Right. Hang on, how do you do against this guy? Kind of okay. Yeah. Petra, Petra. 
uh, Oran, 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 right? Yeah. This is the play. Wait, do I patch out the Remorade? No, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think the 10 healing will be more, more uh, valuable. Hang on, we might as well get the slate board encounter before we do this actually. Just why not, right? See what we get. Um I can't even remember what's really here, but Weasel. Weasel is probably pretty good. No, nope. don't know if it's good for this encounter. Uh, or for this fight, but... Nice, in a dive ball. A fast little uh, little guy? What's like a, a thief of some kind? He's a good thief. Let's call him Yuri. Why not? There we go. Right, I don't think I think Buisel evolves at like 24 or 25 or something, so it's not. I don't think it's particularly useful for the split. It probably pretty damn good for Roxanne though, right? I don't know. It feels like a really really good water type to me. Um, but yeah, not very helpful here. Might be helpful for other fights though. Let's just level it up just to see what it gets. Double hit, Sonic Boom, hang on, Pog, Pog, uh, Water Sport's not very good, yeah, alright, let's get you back out, um, hang on, didn't I plan on using Pidgeotto? <laughs> To bait roller, right? And you're useless, so that's how we do it. That would have been bad if we went in without uh, well, uh, Pidgeotto, I think. I mean, his job is basically to bait roll out and maybe hit an air, uh, an air cutter, but like, you know, that's better than what any of the other ones in my box could do, I think. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just wasted fucking 50 Poke dollars. We lead Tortuga. He's not full HP. I just wasted another 50. No, you know what? Can't be asked. Warren Berry. Use. <laughs> There's no pre damage strats here. I just fucking want him to. Want him a full HP, please. Alright. If you don't know, the reason this is hard. Like, I looked at those two teams and they didn't seem too bad, right? But you have to fight them back to back. There's no healing in between. And obviously, the guy you send out first here gets sent out first in the second one as well. <laughs> Nightshade, he's always gonna mind. Nightshade, I think. Pretty high roll. Doesn't matter. Um, all right, the Skrelp comes out next, like we thought. Uh, it probably toxics. Water Pulse crit does 33. I mud slap him. He water pulses. Okay. I guess that's fine. Now he's guaranteed to water pulse again. Because water pulse kills. Right. 
Right. So on a water pulse, we can go into dart for free, basically, right? <laughs> it still does quite a bit, actually. It still does. Uh, 28 to 33%. Probably just 12 damage to me. Yeah. We do have the Auron Berry here. Um, and I outspeed. He protects. That's fine. Cybeam is not a 2 KO, by the way. It's a 3 KO from full. So, uh, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's a pretty good roll. There's a Toxic. <clears throat> I think I Auron here, right? I didn't patch her on dodge, I think. Yeah. I don't know what's better there. Uh, I guess we'll see if I take more than 10 damage. So I've taken two so far. He missed the acid because of the mud slap. Two, four, so six. Yeah, so Orenberry is probably better. Oh, it depends, actually. Uh, he's on more health than I thought he would be because I got that mud slap in. So. Oh, no, he still takes that. Okay, so he took another six. So, yeah, um, Petra would have been better, then in the long term. Might have been a Toxic one more as well. Um, the Tertuga comes in here. Uh, that's my Tertuga. His Tertuga is... Probably going to Ancient Powder, Power, because that kills me. Uh, with the Poison, that kills me. So if he Ancient Powers... How did I plan on killing this guy? I was gonna just fucking wall him with Mark, wasn't I? What happens if he gets the fucking boost? Okay, I still outspeed at least. Obviously he does a lot of damage, but I still outspeed. Um, I think we just have to hope he doesn't do that. No boost, no boost, no boost, no boost, no boost, crit. Okay, at least, again, didn't get a boost. That's something. Bubble Beam does just below. Max roll is exactly 50%. So, yeah. So we need three. No boost, no boost, no boost, no boost, no boost. Okay, nice. Okay, so we've killed him. So that's nice. Uh, he's going to Aqua Jet me here. Okay, we'll use Brian there. Um... Now he's gonna aqua jet me. I don't really have a counter to that. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's just gonna have to happen. <sighs> right. So he's got less, less health than I would have liked. So that means that basically I can't use him at all for the, this next guy. But overall, the team is looking pretty healthy. Alright, next guy. So, Venusaur crit, max roll Venusaur crit does 14. There's no way he does that. Who do I swap into next though, right? So if he toxics me, he's got a Venom Shock and then I go into, okay. So I think I just go for the damage, as much damage as possible, which is Smackdown. Uh, he's got Merciless, doesn't have Poison Point. Yeah, okay, good. That's what I thought he would do. I haven't used my Petra yet, hang on, I can stay in for another turn. That's huge. I might be able to kill him, you know? No, no I can't, no I can't. 
Unless I get a crit. If I get a crit on the smackdown, then yeah, it's possible, but... No. Alright. Um, he's got a Venom Shock now. Let's just use the kill with it. Intimidate. Venom Shock is special, so that shouldn't matter. The six. Lovely. Uh... I need three bites. In that case, I'm gonna do a glare first. Soak so that he can toxic me. Okay, interesting. Um, or just venom shock me. Let me just uh, put that into the calc that I am now water type. We just bite? Yeah, we just bite. There's no point in wrapping here. Uh, toxic. Right. So the issue now is that Venoshock fucking kills me. Like, it's guaranteed kill. To do this. Right, how much is Vanishok gonna do? It does 18, it does uh, 27 on a crit. We just air cutter. Barely outspeed, by the way. Paralyzed. Okay, cool. We got him. Uh, you send out Mr. Rollout guy, right? Yeah. Um, which, obviously, the plan was initially to then send out fucking bars and just wall him, but we can't do that because we got that poison. And I didn't really think about that. Um, although, I wonder if I just feather dance him once. Because I don't air cutter twice that doesn't kill which is so fucking annoying here's what we're gonna do we're gonna feather dance once i think he roll outs yeah okay he's got speed boost i didn't think about that so now he outspeeds me i'm gonna sound attack i need to reset this rollout and I might need to sack Walter here. I think I survived one more. Although I'm not entirely sure. I don't survive a crit of it, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, so now he outspeeds everything on my team. Actually, I think he did after one speed boost. Uh, but we're just gonna... Okay. Hold. Don't die. Okay. Right, he's using a fucking 90% accuracy move. And I've hit him with a... Sand attack. I'm just gonna need to hope he misses. No. Alright. Um. How do we kill this guy? Obviously, regardless of what happens, I need this next rollout to miss, right? Please.
Alright. It's so fucking bullshit. I think that's basically a reset. Oh, now you miss. When it basically doesn't even matter anymore. Oh, I'm so annoyed by that. <laughs> I guess the play was once he started rollouting and I hit him with a feather dance, I should have gone hard Ekins and glared maybe? Or maybe I should have just hard Ekins and glared right away. I don't know if I would have survived a vendor shock, I didn't calc yet, because I just saw that he was par uh, poisoned, and I was like, oh, I can't, that means I can't go in there. Um... Right, I don't care about the Pidgeotto. Like, the Pidgeotto's dog shit. But this, this sucks. Okay, let's level dudes up, I guess. Uh, and we'll need to deal with the... <sighs> with the guy who got the rare candy and the electric type. Ancient power, that's fucking huge. Um... Brian as well. Brian actually you then. Alright. Smackdown. There's takedown, that's obviously pretty useful. Okay, you learned nothing, that's cool. Uh bubble beam for water gun. Scary face. Actually, it's not useful because I already have glare, which is better speed control than scary face could ever hope to be. We got a hip on Lee. All right. Just again max out all these guys, see what we got, what we have to work with. Like, does this evolve to Dreadnought now? I don't even know, like, who do I candy here now? Because it was always gonna be Surskit. No Dreadnought. Water Pulse, that's pretty huge. Um. Double hit silver. Fake out. Now we're talking. Alright. Peony Magical Leaf. I mean, you are dog shit anyway, so I don't think it really matters, but. Sure. <laughs> I just realized you had a splash. Um, Alright. So. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Deaths. Free. Like that. Now, prep screen. Because we got a guy with a Bibarel to deal with. Now, of course, if my grass type was any good, or if I had my starter, this would not be an issue. 
Alright, let's uh, just fucking clear, clear all the shit. Um, and... Export one, do all my guys in, right. So this Bibarel. He's not very good. Gotta be honest. But the Super Fang is exceptionally annoying. Takedown does a lot. Um... This is a guaranteed two shot, but obviously he's got pluck. Um, which doesn't even need to max drop me, it just needs to high roll me twice to kill, which seems a little bit scary. Because it also outspeeds me. Um. I mean, I could just double kick, one shot it. That seems like a pretty good plan. <laughs> right. Okay. Hip on, hip on these, pretty good. There's, there's no other way to do this. No, no, not at all. All right. What does he send out next? Loki could be anything, so I wonder if it's, it's just next in the order, which would be here. It probably is for the play rough, right? I outspeed. Um, I don't quite kill with the double kick. Unless we get, you know, a couple of crits, which is uh, unlikely. But since we are speed, we just like two shot him. There's nothing else I need Hitman Lee for, so I'm happy to do that. Right, so we lead with Hitman Lee. That's pretty obvious. Did I even name it? I did. Ross, right. Uh, yeah, so you are completely useless, especially because you can't even deal with the water type. Right, we definitely want Roy in here. Uh, I don't think we want this any of these water types, to be honest with you. Um, although I can see a world in which Tootle is useful, right, against this guy, maybe. At least he's not, you know, getting fucking dunked on by him. And we do outspeed and potentially one shot with Ice Fang, so. Obviously, we die to an energy ball, but if we just don't switch in on the energy ball and say maybe we got, you know, a fake out with Hip on Leo first, then we just kill. So, but there's uses I can see for Lucina here. Um, okay, as for berries, I think it's just Oran Berry all the way on everyone. Um, there's one guy who's got Toxic, that's the... This guy. But... Doesn't one-shot him, okay. So yeah, I think I do Petra Berry on Roy here. Because it outspeeds me as well. So like, you know, switch in on a Venoshock. into Toxic, into Venoshock, probably kills me, so. But no, I think we're pretty uh, pretty set here. This doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, this guy isn't very hard. Um, he was kind of hard last time I did him because I had to do him before the level cap raced. Because I needed an electric type to deal with the, uh, deal with the Aquas in the first place. 
don't know if I needed it, but it seemed a lot easier if I had one. Double kick. Oh, he's got fucking aqua drift. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, Ponyta comes in next. He kills with player affair, doesn't he? He does. Which is very annoying. Um, okay, so he play roughs. So I just go here. Get an intimidate off. Minus one. Now he's got a flame wheel. Uh, poison fang doesn't quite two shot. So there's probably value in getting a glare off first because he outspeeds me. He's holding citrus. Um. Right, he's got a flame wheel again. I'm tempted to go back here, fake out into double kick, should kill. Unless I get minimum roll on every th on all three moves. Or I get flame bodied. Fuck. That's so bad. Um It's fine though, I can go bars here. Right, he's gonna play rough, he's gonna do like nothing on minus one. Oh he's paralyzed anyway, okay. Um I can kill with ancient power here. I don't know if it's guaranteed, it's hard to tell. But I want to go for it, because if I get the boost, I can just sweep, I think. Okay, we killed. Boost? No boost. Right, that should bring in the Sunflora, right? Yeah. Right, Sunflora comes in, and 100% uh, just one shows me with Energy Ball, like not even remotely close. So... I actually go Bernadette here. Can intimidate off, does that matter? No, I think they're both special, so it doesn't actually make a difference. Um, right, that did 15, how much does a crit do? 27 max. I think I just have to go for it, because I need to hit a poison fang here. I'm just gonna go for it. It's got lumberries, poison doesn't matter. Crit does so! Let's go! That one, that one must have been a high roll as well. Crit. Okay, no. Only minimum roll crit would not kill. But yeah. That was huge. That was actually so fucking clutch. Right, so now there's a psychic type move here, right? Oh no, he's only got Venishock and Infestation. Wait, he doesn't do anything to me. Max roll crit on Venishock does nothing. Does Infestation mean I can't leave though? Right, like Whirlpool and stuff? Traps the target, preventing switching and escape, yeah. So he's probably gonna infestation me here, right? Um, and I think regardless of whether he does or not, I have to go here. Obviously, the best case scenario would be that he just uses Venoshrog for no fucking reason, but like, why would he do that? Then I get a free attack in before I switch, but like... <laughs> okay, he does that, cool. 
Um, yeah, it shouldn't matter too much here. Do I outspeed? I don't. I'm one speed away. Uh, which means I am dead to a Venator. Crit. Fuck. Burn? No. He's got Black Sludge and Shield Dust. Okay, so he's got a Venator again. I know that. Uh, Barst kills pretty easily from here with just, you know, he tanks the Venusharks and then just uses an Ancient Power. Again, I want to go Ancient Power just because it's probably going to Toxic me here. He might Roost. It's Venusharks again, okay. Uh, yeah, I want to go use Ancient Power in case I get the boost. <laughs> Right, so he's gonna Mega Drain. Which I am okay with. And there's a chance he toxics. But I don't think he will. Right, he had to get basically a minimum roll to not kill the Mega Drain, so yeah. Just to make a drain. Uh, it's got citrus berry, which is a problem, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm gonna have to just take down and we'll just, you know, we'll proc the citrus. Yo, Steve! Party is mid and you get no office gen officer jennies. Wow, my party is very mid actually because uh, I lost my starter like a fucking moron, so Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it How much does shockwave actually do to me here like 16 on a crit it does 36 Okay, so if I if he crits I die to the recoil Or I can just kill him, that works too. You're welcome, always here to help. Wow. Thank you very much for the help, Steve. I, I really, really appreciate it. How are you doing, buddy? Right, again, I don't know who the fuck I rare candy here, by the way. Um, right, let's heal up and then go catch an electric type, shall we? And of course, I haven't done the encounter in Dufa Tunnel either, so... Or Granite Cave, whatever it's called, so... Get from Germ about to watch Liverpool City. Nice, nice. Keep me updated, will you? Oh, I'm a reap. All right. Uh, probably a static. Which means we have good chance of talking tomorrow. So at least there's that, you know. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. It's fine. Um. Uh. Like a thunder mage in Fire Emblem. Let's just go Merciless because I know she loves thunder. Oh, wait, hang on. This is a male. Let's go Urk. Urk. Yeah, keep me updated on the game, will you? Because I'm obviously not paying attention. Naming scheme is just Fire Emblem characters because uh, I was lazy. And I played Fire Emblem earlier and I was like, fuck it. There's like 600 of them. <laughs> Surely we can figure some names. Right. Let's have a look at this guy. Please be good. Uh, I'm just gonna evolve. Wait, hang on. Mareep. Always has static. Fluffy always has static. Okay, so I can just evolve right away. That's fine. Before we check on him. Uh, 
Have you named one after that guy who gives you his seed? Who the fuck is the guy who gives me his seed? I can't remember who that is. Um, it's probably better than Thundershock, right? Yeah, it is. Can't remember his name in the one you let me play. Uh, three houses. Yeah. Oh, Dadu! Dadu was the guy who gave you a seed in the tutorial for the greenhouse. Yeah. No, I, I don't have a to do yet. You know what? The next one can be to do. So, static. Awful IVs. Holy shit, this guy is aw this guy's terrible. Alright. At least he has an electric type, which gives us some coverage, and he has static, which means I can maybe get Toby tomorrow. So Brawly and the gym chain is left. Uh, after I catch the Togedomaru, of course. Okay, so there's a chance it's a Togedomaru, is worth saying. Okay, it's activated. We go on this floor. Cufant. Useless. Very, very, very bad. But... It is a steel type. It is, you know, a heavy tank. Very dedu esque. So now we have a dedu. Right, I think the target tomorrow is probably the only thing that could have saved this run, though. So I think we have basically lost. Yeah, I mean, elephants presumably have a lot of sperm, right? I, I would guess. I wouldn't know, but if I was to take a guess, I would say that elephants probably shoot out a lot of sperm when they come. You know? Is that what you wanted to hear, Steve? Is that what you wanted me to say out loud? Mm, bulldoze instead of tackle, that's fine. Stomp instead of growl. Right. Now we gotta do a little bit of uh, high protein governance. Shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna check all of our Pokemon. Flaffy first. Flaffy does not learn anything at 22. No point in candying it. Hitmonlee. Does also not learn anything at 22, okay? Um, her dear does not learn anything at 22. I can't remember what some of these guys' names are. <laughs> this is a Tootle, right? Tootle evolves at 22. Good, good candidate. All right? Let me just, uh, we'll do it in here instead. All right, let's just remove everyone who is not a good candidate for the candy. Right. Uh, Growlithe. Vols with Firestone, right? Yeah, so does learn takedown. But that's not really that useful. So not a good candidate for the candy. Qfant learns nothing. I've also 34. So also not a good candidate. Okay. Now. Oh, I don't need to open it up to see his name. That's good. Um, Steeny. Evolves by leveling up with Stomp. Okay, so 25. Uh, not useful. Cool. Buizel. Evolves at 26. Doesn't learn anything at 22. 
Remorade. Let's focus energy at 22, that's not useful. Evolves to 25, okay. Tortuga evolves at 37, doesn't learn anything at 22. And finally, Ekans. Uh, doesn't learn anything, but it does evolve. And learns Crunch. So really, if I'm gonna candy someone... No, I didn't. What, what was it? What was it? It's one of these two. Right, let's just have a quick look. What do I think will be most useful? So, in the first one... Um... I don't have a flying type either, which is really fucking annoying. Spurs one four nil away. Holy shit! That's like the Brighton one. Like Villa has that in them. They're a little bit like Man United in that way. Like they they got a little collapse in them. Um, I think we should be able to get past this guy pretty easily, regardless. Doesn't really matter. This guy. Um, again, I don't have a flying type, which is very annoying. The Farfetch Gallery is kind of annoying, but I feel like we should be able to get past that pretty easily. Um, this guy. Kind of the same. Same with this guy. Same with this guy. Yeah, I don't think the gym leader is so much of an issue with what I have. Um, let me just check. So, Dreadnought. How the fuck do you spell it? Like that, okay. So, Dreadnought will have strong jewel still, it will not have shell armor, okay. Um, it's basically Ice Fang and Bite are the only two like super high powerful move it has. Neither of which are majorly useful here. I mean, uh, it's about as useful as like Poison Fang, right? Still think Villa better than United overall. Uh, yeah, I think I'd agree with that. I think I would agree with that. Although United did beat them when they played each other at Villa Park as well. So yeah, I don't know. Like, what's what's it even looking like? Should I just have a quick look? Oh, there's a red card there as well at 2-0. That probably didn't help. Oh, okay. Well, it was 2-0 until the 90th minute when Villa clearly just went for it, right? So, it's not that bad. Um, Yeah, eight points between Villa and United. And that is huge for Spurs, though. That is really big for Spurs. Anyway. Um... Tank and the Retaliate. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna go for the Dreadnought. I feel like that's like the meta thing anyway. Alright. Where is it? And I might as well candy before the gym leaders. Before the gym trainers. So we'll do that. We got the Dreadnought. Rock Tomb is a good move. Uh, I mean, it's better than having headbutt. Is it 100%? It's 100% accuracy as well here. Yes, yeah, so we do have headbutt. Slap this butt into someone a bit too hard to get that red. That's unfortunate. <sighs> uh, 
Right. Now let's actually prep for the gym trainer, shall we? So. Ryu. 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 How do you spell Ryu? <laughs> Riol, Riolu. Riolu. There we go. Uh, all right, we gotta also make sure we import the things. Right, like so. Um, do I have anything that just straight up outspeeds and one KOs? Do I have anything that even one KOs? I guess it's the real question. Um, Fake out into double kick on a good roll, we'll do it. So we can try that. <clears throat> which would be ideal as well, because I do want it out for the stuffle, which it just actually doesn't one shot, I thought it would. Um, that seems scary. Double covered. I don't have speed though, that's the thing. Defense obviously useful. Useless. Right, so yeah, we definitely go Hitmonchan here. When does the city Liverpool game start? Is it in is it fifteen minutes at four o'clock? Or is it four thirty? Right, so you obviously come with you have to come with. Um Go you, go you, like that. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, we started now, okay. Oh, it sure did. Why did it start so early? I thought it was like 4.30. It's happening here. Brighton beating Forest and, ooh, West Ham has just come back against Burnley. That's unfortunate for Burnley. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, we also just, Cherry berry some dudes here, right? I just realized I can silk scarf here to guarantee the kill onto the Riolu turn one or turn two rather. Right? If I silk scarf here, that is okay. It's not a one hundred percent guarantee. But it doesn't make it very likely. <laughs> yeah, it should it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, I'm kind of also liking the idea of a never melt ice on the Dreadnor here, right? Uh, soft sand doesn't matter here because I don't have any ground type moves really. Right, who needs a cherry? So if you one shot him and this guy comes in next, then you will take a body slam. If this guy comes in next, you will not take a body slam. But I think that's probably Wait, hang on, I can't. I, you're holding the fucking silk scarf. What am I talking about? Uh who deals with this? It is you. If you get paralyzed. Uh After hitting one double kick, then we go into Tortuga. Who I, for some reason, did not take with me. I think because I didn't consider the fact that like, oh, it's a, it's a fighting type move, you know, Tortuga is rock type, it'll be dominated. I didn't realize that Tortuga is just a fucking tank. 
So we go there, do the cherry berries so that we don't get paralyzed on the switch in, and then everyone else just holds orange berries. Like you and you. All right. First trainer. Make sure we have the right screen on and just go. Hang on, quick question. Item? No item, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, okay. Uh, so the fake out with the silk scarf into double kick should. Oh, wait, in a focus. Oh, fuck's sake. I didn't think about that. Okay, well, good thing we got the. Oh, we don't have the cherry berry. Of course we don't. Because we got the silk scarf. He's just gonna force palm again. Um. Which on a crit kills. But I think I just have to do it. If this crits me, okay, I was gonna say if this crits me, I might just reset. <laughs> Please kill. Thank you. Right, that was very unlikely not to kill, but it was possible, I think. Right, so now we can't, obviously can't do anything against the stuffle here. We just have to sw switch. Uh, it's random move, either body slam or force palm. Either way, we go here. And I guess we hope for a body slam? Nope, no first palm. Um, it outspeeds me pretty severely. Just, just click the highest damage move, I think. Just Brian. Uh, force palm does 19 on a crit I fucking die if I get I still don't have speed if I get omnibus um, he bulk ups okay Let's attack and defense, yeah. Attack plus one, defense plus one. Oh, he's got a citrus as well, I didn't even realize. Um, so now force pump just kills. Very, very likely kills, it's actually not guaranteed, but it's very likely kills. So what we do is we go here, because he probably just force bombs. It's gonna intimidate, to lower the attack again. Uh, because of that we can actually stand for a turn. Oh, that's very annoying. Um, I think I'm better off clearing and see if we, if we can get that, okay. Plus two defense, plus one attack. Now body slam kills, right? <clears throat> Almost every time. Good, no para, no para, no para, nice. Uh, why is Dreadnought unbelievably fast? It's actually just unbelievably strong. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Right. So, I outspeed here. Uh, What's the play to avoid a force palm? Is it just to water pulse and hope for the power, for the confusion, I guess? That's probably the most likely thing. It's the highest damage move anyway, so we might as well. Yeah. So it's gonna happen. Um 
He doesn't have any priority moves, so we just water pulse again. Right, so Mankey comes in. Stomping Tantrum, Max Roll, Crit, Kills. So we're just not going to get Max Roll critted. Actually, it doesn't matter, because Ice Fang actually just fucking one-shots him. Like, crit oh my god, Dreadnought is so strong. Alright, I think we made the right choice. I feel like Arbok wouldn't have been able to do that shit. Uh, which is nice, because that actually got a little bit spooky. Right, what do we got next? Next we have this far-fetched Galar. Who, you're not gonna believe, uh, Dreadnought might just one-shot. Twenty-five percent chance to just one-shot it, uh, and even if it doesn't one-shot it, we just two-shot it. I can't afford for him to use knockoff though. Like, I, there's no reason why he would, cause he's got rock smash. But if I'm not gonna one-shot him anyway, I might as well take off the nevermind dice, cause apparently if he knockoffs, you just lose the item, and there's only one nevermind dice, right? Um, I'm gonna make it hold Norimbear instead. And then we'll just guarantee the two shot instead of the one shot. Right, and then this thing comes in. Um, there's no real safe baits. Fake out, I guess. I right, go into Hip on Lee. I fake out. Depending on how much damage I've taken. Uh, and then we just go to. Wait, how much? How fast is he? Very. He actually outspeeds Dreadnought as well, so. Does have speed Buizel, but Buizel also has fake out and aqua jet. So you know what? I think we're good with what we have here, right? Because I wait, do I have Buizel in my party? Actually, um, I do not. Let's bring him. Yeah, for Tortuga, I think. Oh, Tortuga also has aqua jet, which actually does a lot. Um, is it for Ekins then? Yeah, it's for Ekins. Seconds takes a lot from the pin missile, so if we do that, that. So Remoraid just gets fucking one shot, right? Yeah, you just basically, you can't get Remoraid in, and the Psybeam doesn't do that much anyway. Um, let me just remember to give him the Orenberry, and we should be good to go. Right, um, and if Ice Fang happens to crit, it does one shot, so that's nice. Ice Fang is definitely the best move, right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah, because I outspeed anyway. Actually, because I outspeed, the best move is actually Bite. No, he's got Inner Focus, it doesn't matter. Ice Fang, if he freezes, then cool. He didn't freeze, doesn't matter. I 
Next match, don't lower defense. Lower defense. Of course, quick attacks, yeah, that makes sense. So obviously I kill him. He sends in Heracross, who now, because of the lower defense, Hyrule kills me. So I can't stay in for a Rock Tomb, which I would have liked. Uh, he could either Rock Smash or Pin Missile here. And I think either way I go here. I would like to see Rock Smash, unless this is a two hit. It's a two hit, nice. So he needs a five hit to kill me here. Uh, and he's probably just gonna go Rock Smash, right? Cause that'll do more damage. So I'm gonna Assume he does that. Rock Smash crit does a maximum of 40. So I'm just going to double kick him for maximum damage. Which obviously isn't a lot of damage, but it's some damage. Okay. That's 17. Kind of annoying that he might pin missile here. But he shouldn't. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, I think he needs five to kill. Uh, the orange berry or a crit with four okay <laughs> that was scary fake out into completely random move I don't have speed I can't take two hits What do I do here? I know what I do. I hope for the static proc. <laughs> if we get that, we win. Rock smash, nice. Crit, that's less nice. Defense drop, that's extra less nice. Static, let's go. We got it. Right, no Lumberry, never mind. I'm stupid. So he's not paralyzed, he is healthy still. All right. Now. Uh, 15, so. We're just gonna have to risk it, I think. Oh, the defense drop, of course. Yeah, I don't know. All right, at least now we get a safe switch into something. Um, and it just has to be here, right? Intimidate, of course, makes a minus one as well. I should have thought of that before. And I 100% should have pivoted through this once or twice. Yeah, that's on me, that's on me. We just lost, uh, I think a pretty good Pokemon actually. Like Flaffy isn't very good, but Ampharos is pretty good and it has a Mega as well, so. 
feel like that would have been useful down the line. Maybe not like in the immediate future, it doesn't seem particularly good for the early game, but I feel like later it would be very helpful. And of course, like, you know, a guaranteed poison or static or whatever is uh, good. I should have brought Ekans, really, instead of Fluffy. But yeah, I've definitely, like, thrown a little bit here. But whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, what's uh, what's the next guy? Makuita, Monkey, and Ledian. All right. So how do we deal with this Makuita then? Because we probably can't just Dreadnought. Alright, I take it back. We can just Dreadnought with the Never Melt Ice. And he one shots with Ice Fang. Okay. Good start. Then Mankey comes in and we one shot that too. And we have speed. And then this comes in. Oh, if this comes in instead, uh, we also one shot that. Okay, cool. Dreadnought, Dreadnought pretty good. I feel like that fight would have been so much different if I if the first guy didn't have knockoff, so I could have just never melt ice. And I don't know if he would have used knockoff. I don't know if there's priority to use items that knockoff items. I think there's no reason for him to have done it, but I didn't want to risk it. You know, I just, honestly it doesn't matter who else I bring it. Like he literally one shots everyone. Okay, I didn't think about the fact that he got uh, that he had a fucking focus sash or whatever. Uh, yeah, focus sash, um, which could have been very dangerous, but it's fine. Right, because of course Dreadno is just a fucking king. Uh, what's next? Right, this guy. Uh, so, previously I have um, thought that this was a first double battle. It isn't. Wait, no, it isn't a fucking Metacham. It's a um, Metatite. There we go. Alright. Dreadnought Ice Fang? Might one shot. Um, it's seventy five percent chance of one shot. Then this comes in, and we definitely don't one shot. This comes in, we also definitely don't one shot. Okay, so we do need to actually strategize a little bit here. We don't just press Ice Fang and win, you know. Right, so how do we deal with these two then? Um, so, Vital Throw, Facade, Guts. So we can't use status moves on it. So I hesitate to go here in case I accidentally poison him. Which could definitely happen. I mean, I could bring him for the Intimidate. And the ability to take a hit. I think that's definitely fair. Right. And if it's minus one. I could go into. This. Intimidate it again down to minus two. And just like. Cover it a couple of times. 
Right, make sure we don't fire fang. No fire fang, remember to do that. No fire fang, we cover it every time. Right, this guy comes in, he also has guts. He's gonna bulldoze. Which we don't have any majorly good counters for. Um, This does a surprisingly low amount. You can also sped though, which is annoying. Um, we bait low sweep, we get another intimidate in, he bulldoze again. We go back. I feel like I have what I need here. Hang on, I just want to check one thing. Take down does quite a bit. But I'm kind of bringing all these guys for very good reasons. Like, does take down do more than double kick? Not really. Not with a fake out in front of either. So yeah, no, we, we bring these guys. Um, I really need this to one shot though. That is worth mentioning. Definitely worth mentioning. It's pretty likely. Oh, this is the wrong guy. Oh, I fucked up. Um, I mean, it might be fine. He outspeeds me, right? Oh, wait, I still outspeed him. So he's gonna mock punch me, which is gonna do a decent amount of damage, but I kill him, so it's fine. Whoopsie. Why would that guy be at the top of the list if he's not the next one? Whatever. Right, so the binary comes in. It... Probably jump kicks me. And it... Might kill me with a crit. It's actually not even that like. Oh, he fake out first, right? Right, well, if it does fake out and I just go here, then that's fine. I outspeed it as well by one point, by the way, so. One shots. <clears throat> Mianfu comes in and fake outs. Uh Have anything that takes out this guy? I mean, Atkins does okay at softening him up. He has a rock slide, he outspeeds me. So 
So I just need him to not... No flinch. That's cool, boss. Thank you for coming back. How was your nap? And how, how's your second run going? Right, we didn't get flinched. He's now paralyzed. Um, rock slide does max 23 on a crit. It kills me, right? Yeah, I mean, minimum roll won't kill me, but I think I'm actually gonna go for it. Or do I, wait, hang on. So if I, if he rock slides here. I go here. City so 1 0 up already, damn. Still at first route. Cool, cool. Uh, I fake out. Okay, so inner focus prevents that too. Okay. That's uh, disastrous. Thank fuck for that. So now it's random move. Um. Cinefocus prevented the Intimidate. I didn't realize it would also prevent flinching. Like that, it's so bad for me. How do I kill this guy? Who died? Um. So I lost my starter, like an idiot. That's disastrous. Okay, so Brian doesn't two shots. I need to mud slap. What was he? Oh, he was trying to det detect there. Um, yeah, I lost my starter. I lost. Who else did I lose? Pidgeotto. I, I sacked Pidgeotto. That was planned. Um, this was to the Aqua Grunts in Slateport. Um, Sack Pidgeotto. Can't even remember who the other two were. Alright, we're just Brian. I just need to dodge crits. Like, I don't have a choice here. This recovers so much, by the way. Is that max roll? Yeah. Like, what do I even do here? Um... We just go here and we hope for a para. Like, I don't really see what else we can do. Para, 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 para. Oh, that's so big. Okay. Maybe winnable. No point in fake outing, because he's got it in a, in a focus. Uh, water Pulse always does more than Sonic Boom. <laughs> oh, no. That, that. Oh, para again. Okay, we're good. That feels like a little bit of a reset. I mean, if you lose your second Pokemon on, like, the first route, you might as well just reset, right? <laughs> a defense lowering nature, oof. I mean, if you died to a Pichu, though, it'd be special defense, right? Probably, because it would have been Shockwave. Because Pichu doesn't have any pure attacking moves, right? Right, so now it's the actual guy we prepped for that we're fighting, because we... I didn't realize it was, like, uh, in the wrong order in the dock, so...
Oh yeah, let me, um, hang on, I'll show you who died before. <laughs> crit, yeah, it's always a crit. You gotta play around those. That's like, the main thing to learn, I guess. When you're doing Nuzlocks. So yeah, so Surskit died, which is unfortunate, because this was my, uh, you know, my ace to try and actually defeat Broly. Although Dreadnought seems to be doing a pretty good job of replacing him. Um, yeah, Piplup died, Brimplup brother. Pidgeotto died, again, that was Bland Sack, and then this I just got... I played a little bit stupid, I got a little bit unlucky. Although, I will say, I got immensely unlucky here as well, in the Aqua Grand fight. Because he hit all five rollouts, despite the fact that I sand attacked him as well. Uh, which is the only reason I lost anything at all there, which was very annoying. But what can you do? Get lucky, I guess. Right. Next guy. Again, this is the guy we actually fucking prepped for, so... Ice Fang... It's like a 90% to kill or something? I don't even know. Uh, Elemental Ties... So it's a 75% to kill. I fake out, yeah, no, I forgot about that. 75% to kill. Nice. Nice! That would have been very annoying if it hadn't. Very annoying. Girder comes out next. It likely low sweeps. Which on a crit... Crit max roll kills me. Anything other than that does not. I'm gonna take the damage and Ice Fang him here. We're gonna assume he does not crit max roll me. Nice. Um, speed fell. That doesn't majorly matter, but he kills me with Mark Punch here, right? Yeah, he does. So I have to swap. So he's got a mark punch. Um, yeah, so it has to be here. Fake out once to guarantee the kill with double kick. Double kick likely would have killed anyway, but if I double minimum rolled out, it wouldn't have, so. Uh, that was a max roll, okay, cool. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. I didn't even think about looking that up, um, but yeah. Right, Machoke comes out. Random move between Facade or Vital Throw. It has Guts. I don't really know what to do here. Well, I, obviously I don't attack. Um, I think it's actually, we got a dodge crit here. Or a couple of max rolls in a row. Nice facade, that's like the best case scenario. Um, now vital throw, max roll kills us. He's got guts so we can fake out. It also has leftovers. Uh, my question is, does Confusion count as a status that boosts Guts? Oh, crit, nice. Confusion, okay. Well, I guess we'll find out. It shouldn't, no, because... 
It doesn't appear on the list of like status. So. Uh, attack and defense up. So now he does kill me with that. Which is unfortunate. Um, I mean, realistically. I just have to hope he... Doesn't high roll me, right? Max roll me? Oh, no. Uh, sorry, I just hope... Need to hope he gets hit by the thing. Hit himself in confusion, that is. Or, I, I mean, I guess I can do this. Alright, intimidate him. Let's bring him back down there. yourself nice let me go here intimidate again if you hit yourself again that will be that will be very sick of you that will be poke champion yeah that's never gonna happen Protect, that is so fucking huge. All right. Now, barring any crits, we should be fine. We'll just cover twice. He doesn't have mark punch. Uh, he probably protects here, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. There we go. All right. It's so much easier when, like, you prepare for the correct guy, you know? Who's the next one? This guy, Battle Girl Jocelyn. With a Kecleon. Right. Let's bring all the guys back, heal them up, and we'll figure out what to do about this bitch. So, what if, and hear me out, we do a never been tried before strategy and we Ice Fang uh, on turn one? And as long as we don't minimum roll twice, we kill in two, even if he drain punches, right? You might Thunder Wave. Actually, does he Thunder Wave turn one? He does, whatever. Because if so, I just hold a Cherry Berry instead. It doesn't guarantee the kill on this guy, though. But we can do that with uh, someone else, right, surely? No, I'm not even remotely close. Um, it does kill him. And Tortuga should be able to deal with him pretty easily. You know what? I think we Cherry Berry here. Right, we cherry berry there, and then we orum berry everyone else. Yeah, the silk scarf doesn't matter. Here, I can't fake out into double kick kill anyway without a crit, so there's no point in doing that. Anyone here who I look at and I see that like you're very very useful here. Like I can bait a drain punch here, but that's not very useful because I don't have anyone who can take a drain punch particularly well. So 
No, no, no one here is good. They're all terrible. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go with this actually. Dreadnought is just gonna fucking clutch it up and kill everything. Low key. Oh. It outspeeds everyone as everyone as well pretty comfortably. Like this is very annoying if he drain punches turn one, but he shouldn't. He should thunder wave. If he does drain punch turn one though, I think we lose. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Or we lose something. It's now electric type, yeah, because he found the waves. Oh, I'm so smart. Right, then he shadow punches, right? Because it's, no, that's shadow sneak. That's the priority move, not shadow punch. So he doesn't have a priority move, so we just kill. We're still full HP. What, is he, what do you send out next? Pig Knight, okay. Um, this is the only one I don't see us like comfortably 1v1ing, one and I kind of want to for the other ones. He's almost certainly going to arm thrust. Yeah, we go here. Uh, if it hits a lot of arm for us, we do have the Oran Berry. Oh, he flame charges. Okay. Maybe I should have stayed in, though. Ooh, that is a speed, right. That's why he wanted to do that. He's still slower than me. Um, and I don't kill him here unless I get a crit. Okay, question. If he's on like, you know, 5 HP or whatever, triggers Blaze. Then Flame Charge, Max Roll, and High Roll still kills me. Okay, we're, I think we're just gonna have to risk it. I don't really see a way around it. Also, no guarantee he uses it. He does. Oh, don't High Roll me. Right, now I'm assuming he's faster than me. Yeah, he is. And it's random move, right? Completely random move. Uh, we just go to Ortuga and we, yeah, we just go to Ortuga here. That safeguards me around most of the, yeah, takedown. Perfect. And obviously the reason I went Tortuga is because Aqua Jet. Alright, I think the Incineroar was the only, uh, or Pig Knight, sorry, was the only uh, somewhat dangerous guy on this team. What's next? Hakamoko, and it's just... He's probably gonna Dragon Breath, he might Iron Defense. I guess if he Iron Defense, I don't one-shot him. <laughs> Yeah, you dragon breaths. Okay. No power, please. Thank you. And then I just want to kill. Didn't need the crypt. That doesn't matter. And then the gullet comes out. And I'm not guaranteed to one shot kill. Um. It's a 62% chance to one shot kill. Got it. Alright. I fucking love Dreadnought. Holy shit, this Pokemon is amazing. <laughs> yeah, that is that is an insane Pokemon. What a chad. Now!
now we're going to spend a little bit of time on this screen. Because I don't have any flying types, so what the fuck do I do? I don't have any flying types, I don't have any psychic types, I don't have any bug types. So, like, I don't think I can get past this guy. I'm going to be completely honest. It's pure fighting. Okay. It outspeeds me. Obviously, I can go here. It's got inner focus, so the fake out doesn't matter. I mean, we could double kick, you know, but it might just send out by one shot me. How likely is it? It's about 50 50. 43%. You know you're in a bad spot when like ancient power on omniboost is like the only way I can really think of to take up this guy without sacking something. And this is the first Pokemon he has. Um It's really unfortunate that it outspeeds Dreadnought by one. All right, fake out into water pulse into aqua jet. Does uh, if someone silk scarf does oh, barely anything. Let's assume minimum rolls about sixty percent, and then we sack. Right, that's the problem. I don't want to do that. We can do a fake out into water pulse, right? He probably uses brick break, and then it's essentially a random move. As long as it's not send headbutt. No, because the Ayapa Berry saves him too. Well, actually, then we could probably fake out into double kick kill. That's that's possible. As long as it's not sand headbutt. If it is sand headbutt, uh, then we've lost, right? So. But that's basically the only way I see to get past this guy without just sacking something. And then if this comes in. I just have to swap. Yeah, then we swap Tortuga on the Retaliate. Uh, we Aqua Jet. It probably sends out Hip on top. Yeah, we do have speed. Which means it's just gonna mark punch. And we need to hold the Never Melt Ice to guarantee the two shot, which is a problem. Because it kills us with two mark punches. Um, That one shot we send had but two. This is um tricky. I don't really have anything to deal with this hip on top. What about the other ones? Like I can definitely deal with the combust skin. The speed boost is exceptionally annoying. Because uh, after plus one, it outspeeds everything I have. But uh, obviously, if we have... You know, any kind of damage. Tortuga. 
or Buisil could take it out with their Aqua Jets. Or Water Pulse. Um, oh, I'll find a bunch. So it has to be in Tetruga, really. Right. A lot when he comes back in. Retaliates again, which then Dreadnought has to take that time. Um, then it Drain Punches. Obviously, we hold the Never Melt Ice. Right, I don't think anything on my bench is useful at all here. Right, the Remoray just gets fucking one shot by every single Pokemon. And the Psybeam does nothing in return. Um, I don't really have a way to kill this Poliwhirl either. Right, I can switch him in, in on an HP Grass. And then he can maybe tank an Ice Beam. But like, who do I switch him in for? I guess it would have to be for you, but I would like to have a second Intimidate Bomb, but I think maybe that's the play. Okay. I don't see a way around, or a way that we win this, I'm gonna be honest. But, that doesn't mean we're not going to try. I wish this outsped. Um... Herdier is actually a decent shout against this Scraggy. You know, speeds, it does a lot with Covet. But like, who do I sub it out for? I can't sub out any of these guys. So I don't think it's actually worth doing. All right, let's just try this. Ooh. Who do I lead with again? Hang on, I had a plan. Because it's definitely not you, is it? No, because you get outsped. Oh yeah, I just have to hope for the not high roll in the sun headbutt. That's what it was. Right? I fake out. It's going to focus. Never mind. What what did we do here again? Oh yeah. No, I remember. I remember. I remember. We uh, play the lottery. Like, there's like five just pure luck checks. There, there's like no way we get past Brawl here without just insane luck. I mean, one of those insane luck things would be... Confusion here, and then he just hurts himself with confusion. 
Nope. Any brick breaks. Um, and now it's random move. I actually shouldn't have equipped Orenberry, I think. Actually, 28. See? Okay, he's not guaranteed to use Brick Break, but he's pretty likely to. He's guaranteed not to Sucker, pu sucker Punch. Um, he's probably gonna Brick Break. So I go... to an Intimidate Mon first. I forgot that. Why does Inner Focus do like two different things? Can someone explain that to me? Right, well now he's basically guaranteed send headbutt, so now I just thrown. So. Alright, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it's lost. Um. Right. I guess I'm not guaranteed dead. So, Mud Slap for the hopeful miss. Orenberry uh, into right. So, what does he kill me with? Only Brick Brick. He's gonna click Brick Break. Can I swap into anything or do I just have to just hope that he misses, I guess? Like, even if I aqua him, I'm just gonna proc the uh, Ayapa Berry. Yeah, we have to do this. Okay. And there's one play and that is that he misses that headbutt. Right. Alternatively, he could just crit on the brick break. And then I lose. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's a reset. <sighs> Hit the sun out, but. Um... No, here's the play. Here's the play. Get frozen. Okay, just die. That's fine too. I love, by the way, that the game just fucking, or the calc just lied to me for some reason. He was slower. All right, this is HP Grass. <laughs> um, which is just gonna do a lot of damage to me, and there's not really much I can do about that. Why does it think that Bite does a lot of damage here? Right, I'm gonna rock to him anyway. No crit? Cool. Why would Bite do so much damage but Ice Fang would- Oh, it's not fighting type! It's pure water, right. Um, does he have any priority moves? No, so it doesn't matter. Kill. Treadno is fucking trying his hardest out here, boys. He really is. Low penny. Um... He's gonna drain punch probably, although he could retaliate. I mean, if he retaliates. Flame the Litten, nice. 
If you retaliate, then we just lose, right? Uh, I'm gonna get an intimidating, I guess. Sorry, if he drain punches, then we just lose. Actually, the play is to go here and just hope he retaliates. Because this should be able to take your retaliate as long as it doesn't crit. I think. Yeah. Uh, we aqua jet him. Bye. Neom. Combuskin. Um, is he going to mark punch me? He doesn't have it. Alright, we aqua jet him then. <laughs> I have to sack it. There's nothing else I can do. Right, plus one speed, so it now outspeeds everything I have. So we just hope for the Aqua Jet crit, because that's the only thing. We can hope for, right? Because I don't too short we covered. Um, yeah. Fake out into Aqua Jet crit. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. <laughs> that was so close, dude. Oh, it was actually like almost kind of possible if that if that worked. Oh, that's insane. Right, minus one attack, so Roy should be pretty safe. Um, like, what can kill me here? I guess, like, you know, double kick crit or whatever. Um, let's get speed boost, lumberry. Yeah, that's fine. Like, double crit, double crit. Double kick, double crit is the only thing that kills me there. And even then, I'm not entirely sure it does. No, it doesn't actually. 98% max roll. Um, right, Lopani comes back in and is now going to retaliate. Um, and there's nothing I can do about that. And it also has the drain punch. Right, you know, you gotta play to your outs. I die to the retaliate regardless of what I do. If I do this first, then I get an Intimidate in, and I get, you know, a hit in. Maybe I can burn him, maybe we can do some funny shenanigans. And get past one more Pokemon. Crit, alright. I don't think you need a crit to kill me, but that's fine. You can have your crit. One day, I will get past Brawly. Today's not that day. This shouldn't kill. No. I mean, he didn't use Drain Punch, so he's actually, like, almost winnable. If I if I burn here, I actually think I killed the Lopany. No. Alright. It's my kill. Didn't. Flinched. <laughs> Alright. A good combination of playing badly. And, um... Being a little bit unlucky as well. Uh, I hate Piplup. I just hate Piplup, so we're just never gonna do Piplup ever again. It's so bad in the early game. It's probably pretty good once you get to exam. And 100% once it evolves um, into Empoleon or whatever, then yeah, I can see it being very good. But like, if I can't get there with it, then that doesn't matter. I have my biggest successes with Turtwig. So we're gonna do Turtwig. Yeah. I like Turtwig. Uh, I've done Turtwig a few times and it always seems like, like, like the most reliable early game Pokemon to me. 
So we're going to do that. Should we do a different naming scheme of some kind? Um, favorite starter, top three favorite Pokemon. It's a good Pokemon. It's a good Pokemon. Both in like design and in, you know, ability. I don't know if it's my favorite starter, but I think it might be my favorite grass type starter. So that's a Trico. I'm heavily biased towards Gen 3, so. Um, didn't mean to do that, whatever I did. I don't know, I don't really have a theme here. I'm just gonna call him David. Fuck it. Right, fast speed. Uh, repellent, register, endless candy on Turtwig. Mm -hmm. Repellent activated, all right. So obviously we just burst through this like we always do, because I've done this like fucking a million times now. And by a million, I mean nine. Um, I've also done a couple of runs, like, not runs, that's not the right way to describe them. Um, I've played the game a little bit outside the stream as well, uh, just kind of fucking around. Like, not really playing under strict Nuzlocke rules and just kind of, you know, trying different things. So I've done the start of this game probably about 12 or 13 times now. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, it, it locked <laughs> my, okay, whatever. Yeah, give me running shoes. All right. Are you ready for the best Pokemon ever? Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what we get. First mom. Impala. Please. Okay. Can't even remember what Temple of Wolves did, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, it's Palpitoad, isn't it? That's pretty good. Kermit, sure. Why not? Six again. I think six is pretty good, you know. But what do I name him? This edgy boy. By the way, Steve, if you're still there and you want to chime in with some Pokemon names, feel free. Um, naming scheme seems to be uh, whatever the hell you want. Slash for this one, alright. That uh, is uh, suitably edgy, I believe. Let's heal up here just in case. I would love to get a Sislipede. I wanted a Sislipede this entire time. It seems like by far the coolest Pokemon in this patch of grass. Please. Let's go! <laughs> Got him. What do we name this little bug? This fire bug. I love this Lipid. I love his design. I think he's one of the best Gen 8 designs, personally. It's got a really cool Gigantamax as well. Which is cool. Senti. We'll go with Senti, why not? Okay. 
Evolution Skull Senti Scorch isn't it at all, so. Right. Here we uh Yes, we definitely go grass. I want a bud you. A bud you is what I want. Let's go. Holy shit. Is this the run? Is this the one where I win it all? <laughs> bud you. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna name this one. I'm gonna go with Buddy. Buddy the Budgie. Cause he's my little buddy. He's my little guy, you know. And finally, of the initial starting six, we have a Starly. Alright, that's pretty good. And what do we call him? You can have this one again. Boss or Steve, whoever one responds first. I'm gonna turn on the light. <laughs> in the charge of this headphone as well before it starts yelling at me. You're nothing. All right. Um. We'll go with Logan. Right, heal up. Let's have a look at him, shall we? Uh, might as well just level him up first, actually. Why not? Kermit, Supersonic's pretty bad. Baby doll eyes is not. Um, is it normal dark or is it pure dark? I'm gonna get rid of tackle, but it's probably normal dark, so it probably just get stabbed from it. <laughs> Woody the pick a peg is back, nice. Bug bite, which is so fucking good at the start of this game. Sludge, which is amazing. Of course, Logan. Please have high attack IVs, I beg of you. Alright. Let's see what we got. Of course, there's David. I didn't actually check his IVs. Shell armor. Plus attack, minus special attack. That's not great, but it's fine. Max attack. Oh my god, this this is going to be a physical attacker and a half, this one. Uh, max speed, max HP. All right. Good defense. Very bad special defense. But, like, this is fine. I can work with this. Poison touch. Oh, hang on. Ooh. All right, so... Plus attack, minus defense, nature. Uh, high attack, again, another physical attacker. Uh, which is fine, because I think that's what it turns into anyway. A good special attack as well, though, to be fair. Speed is pretty bad, HP is like non-existent, but that's fine. We'll work with it. We'll make it work. Gluttony. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is normal dark, good to know. So it gets completely annihilated by any fighting type. Uh, so it's useless against Broly. Good to know. Alright. IVs, really bad actually. Special attack. Actually. Snarly's a special attack move. So. You know. Could find some use for it. Um, but yeah. I mean, one speed plus a minus speed nature as well. That's pretty bad. Now, the Senti Scorch. Flame body. I do like flame body. Plus attack minus defense on the nature. Good attack, good speed. This is a fucking good one. Good special attack as well, or average at least. I think it's very, very, very good. Very happy with that. Natural cure, that's fine. Uh, plus special attack, minus attack. That's I think that's pretty good. This is a special attacker. 
IVs, really bad. Really bad IVs, but nature is good at least. We'll make it work. And finally, Starly, keen eye, plus attack minus special attack. Let's go. Come on. Yes, he's so good. He's amazing. Oh, finally a good Starly. Very, very hyped for that. All right. Um, we're actually just going to leave the Starly here. Right, let's make it through this fucking early game, like, nothingness. Boom. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Boom. <laughs> Um, did you have a water type move? Yeah, but you're gonna switch on on a headbutt. I'm actually gonna do this again. And the Psyduck. You go there. Alright. Fucking this attack Starly is uh, <laughs> already putting in the work. Do you know what I didn't do last time? And I only just realized I didn't fish in Petalburg. Which I absolutely should have done but also i had pip so i didn't think i would need a better water type so maybe that was like a subconscious thing what do you got a docile nature and flame got a bashful nature i'm gonna be honest with you i don't remember the natures of my head like i don't know what each one does um so if you know please do let me know because i just straight up do not The reason I know in this one is because it actually tells you. Like the game, the colors on the uh, stat screen tells you what it is. So like if I go on, for example, the Starly, right? You see, it's in hard red. That means it's the an attacking nature. And like the pink means it's like minus that. So it's plus the red minus the pink. Uh, that's the only reason I know. So that's adamant, I guess. So... Yeah. Uh, right, let's just go. Okay. Could definitely do one. Okay, yeah, fake out. I forgot about that. Um, go Senti next. So, um, Fisher's rent base power move, uh, base power if it goes first is 170. It got, and I'm not joking, the strongest move it could possibly get against me. With metronome.
genuinely? I might reset. If it isn't for the fact that this Starly is so fucking good, I'm like a hundred percent resetting. Bro, that's so fucking annoying. Why is it full HP? All oh, right, cause the fucking berry juice. I I'm so annoyed by that. I. Ugh. I thought that it would just like clear it, right? It's even a pretty good special defense, actually. I was like, yeah, we'll fucking just bug bite him twice, it'll be fine. Ugh, fuck off. Alright, well, let's fish here. It's insane how it's at like a 30% chance to get the shellos and I've got it 7 out of 10 times that I fished here. Um, what do I name it? I'm so depressed. It's a sea slug. Can't really call it slug mode because that's just the name of another Pokemon, you know. Slugma balls. Does that fit? It does. Almost. Slugma ball. I only have one left after the Center Scorch died. Fuck, dude, alright. It's fine, we have the fucking God's gift to birds on our team, it'll be fine. Doesn't mean I'm not exceptionally annoyed. Alright, absorb. Absorb again. It's Yama. It's got acrobatics, that's fine. It's Sonic Boom, actually, okay. Air lays. Might kill now because of the really good attack we have. Yeah, it does. Club burst, air lays. Wow, that did not do as much as I thought it would. Should be fine. Don't crit. Okay. If that crit, I would have reset. Uh, <laughs> David, absorb, absorb.
Right. Okay. Now is where I'm gonna put things into the calc, cause this bitch is really annoying. Oh, of course, I put it in the wrong box. Never mind. So, I don't two shot unless I get lucky. We a hundred percent does this with budget, I think. Maybe, maybe shallows. Um, I think we're better off doing it with budget. Alright, cherry berry, who needs it? So, not you. Budget needs it. Like my balls needs it. Um, Starley needs it. No one else needs it. Oh wait, hang on. No, I'm I'm a little bit stupid here. Hang on, we're better off doing this with slug. Slug my balls, not slug my. That's an entirely different Pokemon, as we just talked about. Um. Oh, let's change the screens. Does it outspeed me? Probably, right? Oh yeah, majorly. What about a minus one? Still outspeeds. Um, so we just watch balls then. Okay, um, Logan comes in, error there's, oh, I'm still as bad by this, okay, that's very annoying. I assumed I wouldn't be, but yeah, I am by one, quick attack then. Okay, there we go. That's what I thought, please. Round doesn't even need to crit to kill me right now, which is very annoying, but whatever. Um, okay. Die to a max roll here. Just a little bit scary. Buddy dies to a crit. Okay, we we'll go here. We bubble. Dolly dies to a crit. It's a speed tie here. Oh my god. This is just going so wrong. Okay, nice. I fucking hate that trainer. She's so annoying. 
Again, never lost anyone to her, probably never gonna lose anyone to her, but just fucking attract and thunder waves. Bullshit. Second half fight, nice. Beat the shit out of that guy, he's really annoying. Right. Surely. Surely. Right? This guy is easy enough. When you have... The monstrosity that is Turtwig here, right? Do I even care about being poisoned? I mean, he has speeds. No, I don't. I don't care about that. I would much rather just Orenberry. Right. Um, so Turtwig solos that, that fraud with two absorbs. Right, which is probably going to bring in this motherfucker. Um, which surely Starly just basically one-shots, right? Almost. Almost one-shots him. We do need to Petra Berry and Starly. Um. Yeah, so what we do is we aerialize into quick attack to kill, because he outspeeds me after the Salak Berry proc. And this motherfucker comes in, and I guess, I mean... Who even kills him? Like, Bud, you does alright, but obviously, confusion is a problem. Yeah, grab some food. Right, cherry berry on Budju, because I can't afford for him to be outsped. Everyone else just gets Oran. And of course, we could switch him in on a free one. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Right, just make sure we lead the correct guy. And we might as well Auron select my ball as well, even though I don't think he's going to see combat here. I also haven't fucking caught the bug type, like an idiot. Weedle! Oh, that's so big. I love Weedle in this one. Yeah, look, little, little guy. And the reason I love Weedle is because uh, it evolves into Beedrill at level 10. Meaning, literally, from the very, very start, once you get him, you have a Beedrill. I'm going to put you there. Uh, who's useless here? Kind of the temple, right? It becomes very useful after this split, but right now the Tim Paul is pretty useless. Uh, right, let's just Oran bury him. Uh, and by the way, this probably just means he did that. Like, this guy brought just Solus to Carvana as well, right? <laughs> like. Yeah. Fury attack, which is actually pretty bad. Um, straight shot. And before I forget, I'm gonna buy Pokeballs now. Not like loads, but like 20, you know? That should get us through to Slateport comfortably. Um. And once again, we're gonna do this. We're gonna export like that. We're gonna get this beadroll in. Do the calc. Question. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna lead Beedrill, you know? Considering he one shots Carvana. Oh, let's remember to pick up the heart scale. Right, Krogunk comes in. And fake outs. We go Logan. We do the exact same thing we planned on doing in anyway, which is Aerial Ace into Quick Attack. Now this motherfucker comes in and Confusions. So we go via here. Okay, Bullet Seed it, that's fine. I just wanted to bait the Bullet Seed, so. Actually, I realized I should have actually gone uh, Beedrill here. Um, like, it's fine. I, Okay, Confusion, max crit into hurting myself in Confusion kills me here. This kills, right? I, I, I feel paranoid. Okay, this is safer. I don't know if a minimum roll kills him there because it's 64%. So I'm going to do this. Into a uh, bug bite. Right. Which is what I should have just done to start with because bug bites just one shot some anyway, so. Right, we've already bought the Pokeballs. Let's leave. Losing Center Scorch is insanely annoying. Like, I am so fucking annoyed by that. But every other encounter has been pretty fucking good. I gotta be honest, like I got the budget I wanted. Uh, I got a Starly with very, very high attack and speed IVs and attack nature. I got the Beedrill, like I got a lot of really good stuff here. It's definitely, you know, workable. We can make shit happen with this. There's the Roselia. What's the hidden power? It's rock. Okay. What does this thing evolve? Oh, why did I get rid of sound attack? I should have got rid of rock smash or something. So. Whatever. Pain missile. Is that better than rock smash? Kind of isn't. And I like baby doll eyes, so we're going to keep that. Right. David evolves. I threw. Okay. I threw very badly, actually. Um, plug. Welcome back, welcome back. We got a B drill while you were gone. Uh, which is kind of insanely clutch. Pin missile. Oh, wow. It's just better than Twin Needle in every way, isn't it? Okay. And we made it past the first boss. So now we can do this. Shellos is kind of useless until it evolves in my experience. Pure water type is not very good at this first split. Like it's a good defensive typing in general, but right now it's not very good. I believe this evolves now. Yep. Into Palpitoad, which is amazing. That's a great fucking Pokemon. All right. Let's catch ourselves a fighting type, shall we? Timber. Got him. What do we call this little guy? Little gal, actually. Um...
I'm gonna call it Karen. Hello, Karen. Welcome to the team. Oh, not welcome to the team, because you're not actually seeing the battlefield for a little while, but... I don't think it's particularly good until you get to the next split. Then maybe. I never have one survive past this split, so I don't actually know. <laughs> okay, we got another Remoray. That's useless again. That's fine, whatever. I'm so... I, like, it's so bad. Like, I, it's pretty good as artillery, I think, but as Remoray, it is awful. Eight ball. Because it turns into an artillery, you know? Right, let's pick up the silk scarf while I'm here. Don't really have any good water and uh, normal types, but you know it's it's fine. It might be useful in the future. What have we got here? Another tutel, okay, huge. I, I am in love with the power of Dreadnought, so... Who was the... Wasn't there like a, a Dread Pirate? The Dread Pirate Roberts. Okay, your name is Roberts. Right. Now we are ready to uh, pop the fuck off. All right. Star you with a thing. Okay, hang on. Let me import my guys first before we do anything else. Right? Here are the guys. I haven't leveled these guys yet, but I don't think I'll need them much for the split anyway. Maybe later. Um, next trainer is this Staryu. And surely... Uh, I mean, I get out sped, but I do just racially one-shot it. Yeah, so we just do that. Um... Which is going to bring in the Aracuda, probably on a peck. And we just go Starly and we win. Um, and then obviously Beedrill just fucking tanks the last guy, easy. <coughs> yeah, we got the team, we got the team. Oh, it brings in the Lombre, okay. Um, what does the Lombre do against me? I don't care, is the answer. Aracuda with the boosted peck um, does a maximum of 30 damage. <laughs> and it knows it. Which is why it aqua chats. In case I kill it with pin missile. So. Right. Beedrill OP. Next is Dwebble. Dwebble guy. Uh, who I'm assuming Palpito just fucking walls. I should have swapped over, but also this is so fast just getting through these guys. Um, Palpito actually doesn't kill it because he doesn't have. Uh, uh, the, 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 the move, the move, you know, water, 
the water move. Water pulse. Uh, Shellas does, but might not kill it. Which sort of defeats the purpose a little bit. Remoraine doesn't learn. It does learn Bubble Beam, though. That's probably enough. Problem is that once I kill it, Munchlax is going to come in, and I don't know if. Okay, I might as well just level up all of them and import them in, just so that we know exactly what we're working with. Chutel might be able to do it, right? So. And I want to check IVs anyway. Um. Yo, we got victory music in our ears, that's nice. Brighten the wingle is back, let's go. Rock throw. For bind. Actually, should probably focus energy, but I don't think it matters. Right. Uh. <clears throat> Remoride, shootle, and timber. Uh. These guys. And put in them. Okay. So anyway, Dwebble against Remoraid. It's also not a one shot because he doesn't own Bubble Beam until next split, actually. Water Pulse doesn't kill there. Jesus Christ. Why is this Dwebble like kind of an issue? You know? I guess it just has to be Palpitoad. Uh, it does outspeed, so you know, just bubble twice, I guess. Um, make sure it doesn't hold the knock uh, No, it's gonna stick you with me. It's gonna stick you with me, turn one. I think. Problem is, yeah, Munchlax comes in and I don't two shot him. So. I need something that does at least 50%. Uh, I mean. Oh, I need a free hit pin missile. <laughs> Which is kind of scary. Or alternatively, I can use my fucking brain and I can just, you know, use my fighting type that just one shots it. Um, of course, I don't have a fire type because Sisley P just got uh, destroyed by Fisher's Rent. So Palpitoad comes back in to deal with this thing. Alright, so we don't need you. And then Staravia just solos the this thing. We'll come in on either a Mega Drain or a Bulldoze. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So we lead with Palpitoad. And we just Oren bury everyone. Pick up the hard scale and the dive ball while we're here. I got the stardust earlier. <sighs> right. Yep, he used the sticky web, that's what I thought. Oh, he goes Sandy Gas next. Oh, of course, because he's now gonna Mega Drain me. Um, that's fine. So let me double check. Yeah, so he he's not 100% guaranteed to Mega Drain, I think, but he's very likely to. So we just go Logan. Uh, it's just, he can't do anything against me. Okay, he can fucking sleep me, I guess. There we go. Uh, Marwell. Um, 
Doesn't actually kill with anything, so it's random move, but it's likely covered. Yeah, it has to be here. One shot, and then we add speed, kill second. Now, Munchlax is in. Regardless of whether he belly drums or headbutts, we just go here. Belly drums. Uh, okay, one thing I didn't really consider. I'm 100% slow here. I think. <laughs> I am. I'm now slower because of the fucking the thing. Um, the sticky web. Yeah, we lose. We lose something here, actually. Like, straight up. So, let's let us uh, plus six. So, headbutt kills Karen. It... It's not guaranteed to kill Grottle. Actually, it, it can't kill Grottle. Um, but I'm also slower. Six again is dead. He's dead, he's dead. And Tootle is also dead. All right, so we are losing. Everything. We, we can't win this. I sack something. Alright, well, we're sacking this thing then. The sticky web, man. I should have fucking played around it, but I couldn't really think of a way to do it. Uh, David... Brace a leaf. Alright. Um, we wipe? No, we don't. But we do lose something else. I'm just gonna reset. <laughs> I'm on the wrong screen as well, but like, yeah, whatever. Um, everything gets outsped. So we just lose. Right, I, I sack one thing, right? And then I, I quick attack with uh, Sarabia, right? It's fine. We don't wipe here. But like, I can't afford to lose any of this. All of these are really good and I need to keep all of them. I don't be Brawly without all of these guys, I think. And I don't feel like playing rest of this attempt, which is already clearly fucking cursed. So, we're just gonna reset. It's the first time I've reset just, like, without, you know, having actually lost. Um, but... Just that, that was just not a fun attempt, straight up. Like, everything that could have gone wrong just went wrong. We are going uh, a turtle again though, like 100%. I like turtling. We speed. Oh, um... Uh, 
Right, let's do a different naming thing. Let's do um I don't know, I'm just gonna do fucking Nintendo characters in general. This is Pikachu. <laughs> That's Pikachu. Is that even how you spell Pikachu? I don't think it is. There's no T in Pikachu. Whatever. This run is already cursed. Pound activator. Of course, we didn't get the um, the potion. That's that's what we want. Bite, bite. We got burned there. That was like, I don't know. I feel like that could have been scary. Backwards, I was told, did I miss anything? Yeah, I just reset. I, I, I played kind of badly against the Munchlax, and it was at the point where I like had to sack two Pokemon to get out of it. And that just wasn't... Like, it, it just wasn't worth it. I'd already lost one really good Pokemon early, and then I would have to lose at least two more. And it was just not... No, it was clearly a cursed attempt. Hello, Tad. This is the misspelled Pikachu. Uh, it's the new Turtwig. Uh, the theme is uh, Nintendo characters, just in general. Um, this is Luigi. Welcome to the team. I'm gonna misspell all of them. Why not? Luigi. Bunnelby? Never had a Bunnelby before. Jesus Christ, okay, I was like, am I even gonna get one now? What's the name of the bunnies from Mario Galaxy? Star Bunny, that's very... Very nice, I thought they would maybe have like a name. Um, Star Beauty. Uh, what are the odds of me getting Sislipede again? Oh, by the way, it's like it's a ten percent. By the way, like genuinely, it's a ten percent. So, boys, we're back. What do you mean not catch it? Six Pokeballs left. One, two, three. Okay. <sighs> Goomba, and you can decide for yourself whether that's based on on a Goomba from Mario or the boss Goma from Zelda. Let's buy some fucking Pokeballs, <laughs> cause oh my god! <laughs> just I uh, just max it out. Fuck it, Who cares. See though, that's pretty bad I think. Um This is Seamus or Shamus. And finally Another fucking Pidgey. 
Every Pidgey I've had so far has been absolute horseshit. Um, does the owl from Zelda have a name? Yeah. I'm calling Kapora, which is slightly misspelled, the name of the owl from, from Zelda. Right. Level these guys up. Luigi. Natural gift. Um, which is not very good, but it's probably better than Growl. Gives me a little bit of utility potentially. Please, Pidgey, have good IVs, I beg of you. All right, let's have a look. Plus attack, minus special defense. That's probably not amazing, but it's fine. Uh, we do also have max attack IV. Attack, defense, and HP. Really good special attack as well. Pretty low speed, but we'll make it work. Special defense, nice. Swift swim. Awful, awful IVs. T terrible. Oh my god, I don't even want to look at it anymore. Neutral nature as well. Alright. Plus speed, minus special defense. Alright. Good special attack. This is not a special attacker, is it? This is an attacker, so low attack IVs. That's pretty bad. But decent speed, good special defense. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Sislipede, minus special attack, plus defense. That's pretty bad. This is awful. The last one was so good as well. Um, right, minus special attack, and it's got five as well, and then zero attack. Like, come on. Uh, fire ability was white smoke. Okay. Early bird. That's pretty bad. Plus special attack minus defense. That's bad. And that's bad. Okay. And finally, keen eye. He's actually got kind of okay IVs. Holy shit. They said it couldn't be done. It's not great, but it's fine. Yeah. Right, we're just gonna rush through this again, as always. Alright, cool. I'll just miss everything. Um, my bird is hopefully better than your bird. Yeah, cool. Oh, I didn't mean to go in with Dirtwig. It's fine. He's got a pin missile. I know he's got a pin missile, he always does, so we're gonna go here. Ember. Oh, that's stupid. Patches, get the organs. Okay. Oh. Right. Let's uh, equip the berries before I forget, not the patches. Um, right, it leads with Skido, Skido, whatever his name is, we go Goma, and we just bug bite to kill. Litleo comes in, it's probably gonna headbutt. Don't have any like super obvious counters to this guy, so we, I think we just stay in. Um, we wrap once. Headbutts me, so I bug bite. To eat the orange berry. Bug bite again. Psyduck is gonna bubble beam. So we 
just go here and the hot counter we absorb. Right. Now we fight the fucking metronome trainer. And it may seem silly to lead with the guy who got fucking fishes rendered to death last time. But it's simply just not going to happen this time. So it's fine. It does nothing. It does something. I'm gonna swap to Pikachu. I'm gonna just absorb. Where did I go? I'm assuming here's Dig. Sky drop. Oh, well, I'm dead by now. Okay, it's fine. Oh, he brought me up. Right. I should. Metronome is so fucking annoying. Steel wing, that's fine. Flame charge should be fine. Hopefully. Yeah. It's nice that he can't crit. Race speed, that doesn't really matter. That's the only thing about not going um, uh, going Chimchar, is that Chimchar is the only like, you know, super fast, just, you know, kill that Spinda real fast. Because you get Mach Punch so early. Um, We lead Luigi here. Surely I don't get the shallows again. 30% chance to get shallows. Get it eight times in a row. Surely not. Surely not. Surely I don't get shallows again. Surely I don't get shallows for the eighth time in a row. Twenty-four percent chance to get shallows here. Eight times in a row. Is that not like completely fucking broken? <laughs> like what the fuck? I don't mind shallows. It's it's a fine Pokemon. I just you know I kind of want a Krogunk or a Surskit. Or if you're gonna keep giving me shellos, at least give me the yeast version. Um. Uh, I'm gonna call it uh, Dory. Spelled like that. Uh, the name of the the Nessie monster from Mario sixty four's name is is Dory. Spelled D O R R I E. So got the XP share. I can't remember even where you get that in Cinnamon. So I'm assuming it is you know quite early. Okay, no. Let's grab the fucking bug type before I do anything else here. I don't even know what I want. Wait, this is busted. Wait, 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 I love, I, I've never had this before. I've just seen it. This is amazing. Um, what do I call it though? Uh, another like, just random Nintendo character. This could be a uh, Star Fox, fuck it. No, this can be Falco. By which of course, I mean, Flacco. Right. 
Vivillon, I think, might be the best in best encounter in that entire grass. Oh, sorry. Scatterbug. Um... So let's just candy it up. Yeah, that's what I thought. It becomes Pavilion right away. Um, oh my god. Those moves are so fucking good, actually, already. Right. Now, what I want is, I think, high defense, primarily. Compound eyes, okay. Plus defense minus special attack. That's like, okay, special attack would be nice to have. But this is primarily a defensive Pokemon. What do we got? Oh, this is such a defensive beast. Really good special defensive IVs as well. Average, basically everything else, kind of low speed, speed. But like, this is this is fine. I, I'm happy with that. Right now, let us then uh, level up all these guys and put them into the calc, and we'll see where we are at. For the first split. Pokemon from there. Export all of these guys to here. School encounter sips up again. Nice. Another Magnemite. Again, I'm pretty sure that's good. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I could be talking shit. You've obviously had a run with it, uh, and I have very much not. I played Sun and Moon when it came out, and then never again. Um, what am I doing? Right. So here's our guys. Um, the Yanma guys. So we simply absorb twice. It does outspeed me, which is kind of annoying, but... So you can obviously then just uh, get the stomp flinches like last time. But yeah, we uh, just absorb twice to kill. That's fine. Even for the Orenberry, that should be fine. It goes Yanma. I <laughs> go Vivillion with an Orenberry. It's actually up more than 40 HP. Um, which is amazing. And then Vermilion, I'm assuming, just one shots a club as well. Yeah, he does. All right. So we just make sure we we lead with Turtwig. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm not even going to hold an Orenberry. I'm not wasting an Orenberry on this Krabby. Because there's a chance if he stomps me, he can get me below half HP. But... Right, Yanma comes in. It either acrobatics or sonic booms, it doesn't really matter. Uh, air cutter, one shot, nice. Air cutter, nice. So, yeah, we, we're gonna have some fun with this pavilion, I think. I hope, I pray. Right. Um, next trainer is the guy with the dudes, the magic arps. Um, actually, I I'll be right back. I need to go pee.
Hello, hello. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, I have friends over who are playing D&D with Chloe. Um, and they were having dinner and stuff. So, I just had to help out a little bit with that. I'm not entirely done yet. Uh, my dinner was alright. I just had leftover peas from yesterday, so. My dinner was fine. Um, yeah, I just gotta go back in like 10 minutes time, once it's almost done, to just finish it off. Uh, but that should just be a couple of minutes, you know. Um, we can at least minimum get through these fucking magic cards but, uh, before we do that. Um, if we can figure out a way to get through these magic cards, of course. So obviously, I can't get crit, so yeah, I mean, we do just... Run in with you, we got speeds, we do that, there we go, right, and then we just absorb again, and we absorb again, okay, cool, yeah, that was pretty easy, okay. School teacher now, wish you luck, alright, that's the one you wiped the last time, right, so good luck, you got it, hopefully you haven't lost, you know, half your Pokemon before you fight her this time. How do we deal with this Manchina though? Oh, this uh, Attract Paralyze Trainer, I suppose. So we could just... Pavilion Cherry Berry and hopefully two a KO. Right? As for this guy, I don't have any poison type moves this time, so I don't have anything super effective. Um <clears throat> But I can bug bite that and then we just orange berry the rest, right? Like so. Um, it should be pretty safe, I think. What did he do, turn one? Oh, he got flinched, right. I mean, we might as well just. Oh, hang on. Forgot to swap over. Uh, we might as well just air cutter here, too, right? Right, <laughs> cool. Um, air cutter. We swap here. Oh, we just absorb until we win. There we go. Defeated it with no deaths. Nice, huge improvement. Hopefully, I also have some improvements here. Right, so Carvana. We probably just lead. Orenberry probably doesn't matter. We just lead here. And Vivillion low key just kills the other two. Like. Oh. I feel like Vivilia makes this like dummy thick easy. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't one shot there, so I'm gonna give it a cherry berry. But it also like takes no damage. We do have to be a little bit careful about this though. But I'll figure it out in combat. I'm not. It'll be fine. 
Uh, remember to swap over. That's the wrong one. There we go. <clears throat> no poison would be nice. Okay, well, it doesn't actually matter. Kroger comes in. And he... He's gonna fake out, actually. You just go here. Yeah, this is how we play around the, the belch, actually. We just stun spore him first. Okay, that's kind of annoying, but... Like so. Uh, execute now comes in. And does... Too much damage with the confusion, really. So we swap out to Guma. We just bug bites for the win, right? Oh, almost. Right. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. So you gotta stop stream soon? Uh, no, I actually just gotta go and fry some eggs for like five minutes. It'll be a much, much shorter break than it was when I just went now. Um, it should be like five minutes and then I'll be back on and I'm I don't know I'm just gonna keep going until I sort of feel like it or until if they finish D&D behind me then you know I'll go and hang out with my friends but... okay we got 29 Pokeballs for five Go. Nyum. Oh, of course, we have new level caps, don't we? <clears throat> I did it again! I did it again! Fuck! Like, bite isn't majorly important, but it's nice to have it. Mega Dread just replaces Absorb. Levels up, let's fake out. Honestly, Natural Gift is so bad. Um, does this evolve? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, let's tackle. Mud Shot, get rid of Double Slap. No evolution, okay. Don't know when this evolves either. Poison powder, no. Sleep powder, that's more like it. Um, the string shot. Struggle bug. I mean, I just get rid of sleep powder again, right? I feel like stun spore is more. Like it's more accurate. It's more reliable. Do that. <clears throat> like sleep powder has more pop-off potential in that way, but hidden power is bug. That's actually not particularly useful. But I mean, it is more useful than Mudsport. But all right, let's see what we get. Give me something good. Krogan. I I I really like Krogan. I really really like Krogan actually. Nice, got him first time. Um, uh, there we go. He's Dora fan. But again, horribly misspelled. Right, let's catch some more guys, we'll level them all up, and then we will put them into the calc and we see what we're, what we're working with in terms of abilities and stuff as well. <clears throat> I fucking hate this Remoraid so much. It's so shit. Oh, um...
Um, this can be side on. Feel. All right. I don't think that's particularly great, but um, Ice cumbers. <clears throat> right, we gotta level up all these guys actually. Ice ball is obviously just the rollout of ice type moves. It's pretty good. Charm is I mean sharply reduced attack, that is good. I kinda don't want to roll out, I'd rather just have ice ball. Brine. That's better than water gun. Right, this guy we know is useless. It doesn't learn anything particularly interesting. Mud shots. Vacuum va wave is just like mock punch but special attack. Poison sting. Sludge. And then that gets rid of one slap. Shamus is evolving and let's fake out Razor Leaf. Alright, so now it actually has four moves. That's good. No, it's got decent IVs this time. Maybe it'll be better. All right. Let us import this all into the damage calc. Just remove all these guys. Import all these guys. All right. And now let's have a look. So, thick fat, minus special attack, plus special defense. It's not great. Pretty bad IVs. I mean, good attack, good defense. So that at least. But yeah, not not amazing. Not amazing. But well, I think it's fine. Um. Okay. Plus special attack, minus attack IV. That's that's okay. I'm okay with that. Not IV. Nature. I mean. As for IVs. They're fine. This might be the best Remorade I've ever had. Right, this guy. Plus special attack, minus special defense. Okay. Poison touch. I forgot to check there. Hustle. That's awful. Okay, I'll take it back. IVs. Good special attack. Low attack. Like, this is primarily a attacker, isn't it? Like a physical attacker? I could be wrong. Decent speed. Max defense. And really good special attack, so that, that's, that is good at least. Uh, this guy, we did check him. He now has early bird. Yeah, we checked him. <clears throat> okay. So that is something. Um... Now let's just go to the prep screen and just have a quick look. So obviously, you just one shot. Cyanide, the Grimer's back. Nice. Yeah, Razor Leaf one shots him. Then for some weird reason, this guy comes out. 
Um, <clears throat> on a seismic toss. At least that's what happened last time. So if I just go Vavillion here. And then we just uh, kill him, I guess. Right? Aracuda comes out. And we just swap to... This guy. Right, and we just sludge into Vacuum Wave. If he crits, we have to switch. I mean, I could just Mega Drain you instead. That works too. <clears throat> right. So, Villion. Luigi. And everyone else is fine. Alright. Oh shit. Right, I will be right back again.
Are you guys ready for some fucking gaming? Boom, gaming. Gaming. Oh wait, I'm... Let's just focus a little bit, alright? I am confused. We're fine. This guy comes in. And he packs, hang on, he packs. And we don't care about that, okay. Cool. <clears throat> and once again, I like I don't really have a water type that just kills the uh dwebble, do I? That's not true, the Shellos is better than the last one. It does get outsped by him, which is annoying, but... Wait, that means it gets to set up a sticky web again. Can we play around that in any way? Let's see if we can play around that, because that literally was the problem last time, was the sticky web. <clears throat> you know, I'll have a look, it might be that I'm just faster than the Munchlax this time, so it's fine. But let's see that first, right. Plus one on speed, it's only 16. So this time, our Grottle is actually faster. Because he's got max speed, I guess, I think. Um, this thing is about more than twice as fast as him as well. I don't think it matters this time, I think we're fine. This thing is faster. Oh wait, hang on, no, I gotta remember that I'm minus one. Right, so I'm 12, so I'm not faster. Vivalon is though. Just, I, I said just, 24 to 16, but <clears throat> So, we air cut her twice and it does kill him. So it's fine. Okay, well we got a response to that now. Um, right, so Shellos goes in first. Right, kills this guy. Um, <clears throat> Um, you know what? It probably doesn't stick you, web. Oh, it might, it might. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Whatever. Even if it does, it's fine. <clears throat> if you rock blast and it gets five hits, that's fine too. Right. 
So there's a chance, I guess, that my wall comes in. In which case, we just sisley pit him, right? Not super comfortably, but like kind of. Um. <coughs> Jesus Christ. He's got white smoke, which is not very useful in this one, but it's fine. Intimidate and leftovers. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Um. Wait, I got bug bite. Hang on. All right. So if Sislipede is still in, if Sislipede is in there, then Sislipede just kills him. So it's fine. Right, if this thing comes in, <clears throat> I have to go. Don't really want to go back to Shellos. This is what we bring Pidgeotto. I remember this. Flying types completely wall this guy. We don't need Krogunk here. Right, he's not really that useful here. <clears throat> I say as I realize that he fucking. Kills the Munchlax pretty comfortably, but we have other things that do that, so. Um, yeah, we're fine. <clears throat> Let's just Oranberry this guy. Sislipede is going to be slower, by the way, than the Mawal, so we might have to pivot a little bit around that. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. It's <clears throat> the one. Pick up the free shit while we remember it. And then take out this guy. Right, I will I will give him the respect he deserves this time, shall I? Which is to put on the music for the battle theme. And play this out properly. So we don't fuck it up, so we don't miss anything, right? He's probably going to sticky web. Yeah, he's sticky webs. Okay. We have to make sure we play around that. <clears throat> that essentially means that Vivillon is now the only thing that can take out this um, Munchlax. Alright, we gotta keep that in mind. There he is. Yep, yeah. so we go here. I also don't lose speed because I'm bug type, I didn't realize that. Wait, maybe I'll just kill this thing. Not if I switch into it. Oh, I fucked it. <clears throat> um, so now we lose, because I fucked it. Headbutt exactly kills. Yeah, I just didn't think properly, I think. I feel like my out is actually him being paralyzed. Which is insane to say, but it is. I'm, I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm done for the day. That is... Um, I'm I'm just throwing now. I'm just playing badly.
we're done. Thank you very much for stopping by, boss. I appreciate it. You know, drop that subscribe, ring that bell, all that good YouTube shit. Um, yeah, I mean, if you could subscribe, you know, it'll, you'll be told when I go live next time. I will show up in your subscription feed, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, I am... I've clearly been at it for too long today. Because that was just bad play. Like, what? If... I, I was assuming the Marwal will come in next. Because it did last time. And clearly something was wrong. I failed to recognize that that messed up my plan. And then, yeah. Awful, awful stuff. Alright. I'm gonna go. Have a lovely rest of your day, boss. Bye-bye.